Hello and welcome to Headingley Stadium. A huge game on the way from the very top of the Betfred Women's Super League. Live and exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. The league leaders shield up for grabs. York City Knights ladies are in possession at the moment, but Leeds Rhinos in second could pip them with a win here today. And who knows, third place St Helens may just have a say as well. So plenty to work through. We're looking forward to this one alongside Kyle Amor, who's seen a lot of this competition this year. More on that in a second but first of all a perfect setting for what we hope is going to be an absolute thriller Carl this afternoon yeah you're dead right George and those the, those things that you've just mentioned there make it even more tasty you know if York can get the job done today they finish top don't they you know if Leeds were to beat with Leeds were to beat them then you, you know obviously they they go on and clinch it and then obviously like you mentioned there St Helens as well they're relying on what happens here today they do play later on against Wigan in that derby uh, later on this afternoon but look the sun's out and that, I'm, I'm really excited to watch what's been so far a fantastic season come towards the end as we head into the playoffs in a fortnight's time. Yeah, word on the, the season as a whole, you've lived and breathed the, uh, the Women's Super League this season. Not only what have you made of these two sides, uh, but of the competitive nature of, of the product that we've seen this year. Well, look, I think the league table in itself, George, tells you exactly where this competition's going. You know, only a couple of years ago, you know, the, it, there was only really one dominant side in, in St. Helens the time before that, it was Leeds. But what York have been doing is bubbling away and even, it, it, again, Leeds Leeds, St Helens, we've got it to a place now the competition where there's three genuine sides who are now battling it out and in those games that we've played I think we've seen the quality go up as well and you know that's the, what's got to be remembered George is this still is very much an amateur sport and and you know to have more and more teams get competitive and who knows off the back of where the way women's sports going in general you know I believe it's only a matter of time before more money and more time and energy and resources come into the game and take it to where these girls deserve it to be. We're looking forward to this one Kyle Amor with us live and ex exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. Let's hear next from the two head coaches. Well, it's great to see you. What have preparations been like ahead of this one today? Um, yeah, really positive. We had a really positive week um, in training. Um, we had in Tuesday, Thursday, obviously, and just the girls were really excited, really pumped, obviously, come off the back of um, a loss against Saints, our last, last game out, and I think that, you know, they're just chomping at the bit to get out there and put some uh, put some things in place that they thought they weren't good enough in the, in the last game. Are you trying to keep this, like, just another game, or are you stressing that this is a big one? No, because it's all about us today. It's all about us playing to our potential, so it's just an opportunity for us playing our home ground together and just come off feeling better than we did last time out against uh, St Helens and I just think that that's, that's the way to look at it today yeah it's, it's a big game in the competition but actually you just cross that white line and it's just about what you do for them 80 minutes and a word on your opponents where could they hurt you today we know they've got a strong pack um, but it's a warm day so that, that can either work in their favour or against but um, we know we've got to be good down the middle because that's probably where we weren't good enough against St Helens we're looking forward to it good luck thank you it's great to see you. How has this week been for you and, and the players? It's been a really good week in training. Um, we've kept it dead simple, focused on the things that we've been doing all season, really, nothing new, um, and we're just excited for the day. Oh, you just had a look around. I mean, you couldn't have wished for better weather, and you've looked at the, the pitch, which is absolutely beautiful. It's all set fair. Yeah, it is. God's really shining on us today. It's uh, it's going to be a fantastic day. Um, hopefully, we get plenty of fans coming out to, to watch this game, and uh, hopefully both sets of players put on a, a good show of rugby league. You've really turned it on this season what have you said to the players about what is at stake here today over the next 80 minutes uh, not a lot really um, the way we're looking at it is uh, on Wednesday night when we kind of introduced the game is we're going to be in the same situation the following week we're looking at a grand final so there's going to be highs and lows today obviously amazing to, to lift a trophy today but equally the, the, the grand final is what, what we're aiming for in a couple of weeks so um, a big day but, but not the be all and end all and a word on your opponents. Leeds, who have threats pretty much everywhere you look. Where do you sense their danger lies? Yeah, well, they've got two international halfbacks and an international hooker, so, so their their ability to play is going to be massive. If we can keep them out of our 30 metres, then, then we stand a, a definite chance, but that comes with controlling the rook and, and making sure we keep them away from our try line. Good luck today. Thank you very much. Right, let's get some more build-up to kick off now live on the sports. But let's get some thoughts from the players. And earlier this week, the Women's Rugby League show caught up with Courtney Winfield-Hill. In terms of leads, how have you rated your season so far? Yeah, really good. I think uh, overall really good. Um, where we are at the minute, um, the result this weekend puts us in the mix to potentially 
you know, be at the top of the ladder and, and we're definitely playing semi. So there's, there's never anything to uh, complain about when you're in those sorts of positions. For you personally, how has the season been so far? You know, trying to find momentum has, has been interesting. At times I've had a few weekends off with work commitments and, and a couple of other family bits, but um, I'm one of the big pluses. I'm, I'm loving playing alongside Georgia Roach in halves and the further we progress into this season, we're feeling more and more comfortable and um, hopefully uh, we can lead the team around really well this weekend. This weekend is a top of the table battle against York. How much pressure is going into this game? I think we've had some terrific games against York already this this year. Um, you know, they've built a terrific team over there and, and are putting themselves right in the mix as well. So um, what impresses me about them, I think, you know, their their willingness to compete um, and they've they've shown that against ourselves and, and St. Helens as well. So um, it's a terrific, terrific place to be when you've got a number of teams who are all, all three in, in line for the League Leaders Shield and and looking for that number one position. This is our moment. When we dare to push further. Men's, women's and wheelchair. Together for the first time ever. Coming to your town, your street, your heart. 61 unmissable games. 32 of the world's greatest teams. Three trophies. This is real impact. The Rugby League World Cup. Be there. So much to be excited about in the world of Rugby League at the moment, not least this fixture here today. Doesn't get better than this in the Betfred Women's Super League. Beautiful, sunny, bank holiday Sunday afternoon at Headingley Stadium and two sides poised to tussle for the league leader shield. Let's have a look at how they line up this afternoon, starting with the hosts, the Leeds Rhinos, who will line up like this. Fran Goldthorpe is their fullback with Sophie Robinson, Hannah Butcher, Caitlin Beavers and Tara Moxon. All the experience in the halves of Georgia Roach and Courtney Winfield Hill. Then Daniel Anderson up front with Kira Bennett and Zoe Hornby and completing the 13, Chloe Kerrigan, Sophie Nuttall and Orla McCallion. The interchange bench for Lois Vassell's Leeds Rhinos today. Alexandra Barnes, Jasmine Kudjo, Shannon Lacey and Lucy Murray. What about York City Knights, ladies? In possession at the moment of top spot and the league leader shield. They line up like this with Tara Jane Stanley, their fullback, Ashley Hyde, Tamsin Renouf, Katie Langan, and Georgia Taylor. Then it's Lacey Owen and Olivia Gale, Daisy Sanderson, Sinead Peach, and Olivia Wood, Savannah Andrade, Holly Dodd, and Jasmine Bell complete the 13. The interchange bench Matilda Butler, Leila Basali, Alisa Akpa and Georgie Hetherington for the York City Knights ladies head coach, Lindsay Anfield. Well, York continue their preparations in bright sunshine, absolutely beautiful conditions here. We were down on the pitch pre-match and I'll tell you what, you could play snooker on this surface, absolutely perfect. Leeds have finished their warm-up, they've got back down the tunnel underneath the main stands. Beautiful facilities here as well. York stayed out just for a couple of moments to get themselves ready. Kyle Amor joins us for coverage of this one from our commentary for position high up in the gantry above the south stand. And blimey, we're looking forward to this. Let's just remind ourselves, Kyle, of, of what's at stake today. York top of the pile. If they win, it's simple. We don't need to get the calculators out. If York win, they win the league leader's shield and have that extra bit of silverware heading into the end of season playoffs. If York lose and Leeds win, it gets interesting. Leeds will go top of the pile for the time being at least, but there's another game kicking off in an hour or so with St. Helens in third taking on Wigan. Saints are 13 points inferior in terms of the points difference tally. So a Leeds win could still let St. Helens in if they beat Wigan by over 13 more 
the Leeds win here today. We can worry about that later on, but that just tells you, that underlines Kyle Amore, what a competitive competition we've had at, at the business end of this season. Yeah, it's you and just, George, you know, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to everyone at home as well, but you're dead right, you know, look, across any competition in the world, really, if you can get the final, uh, get on the final day, if things haven't still been decided and so many teams up available for that league leader's shield, well, it just shows a significant improvement at this Betfred women's competition. And you mentioned it there, George. We'll get to find out, though, won't we, over the next 80 minutes or so. And he certainly is making for a great day today. I mentioned earlier, the weather's perfect, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Some real outstanding individual talent out there on show, live on the Sportsman today as well. Tamsin Renouf. The York skipper, Sinead Peach, Kelsey Gentles, all part of a Castleford team three years ago that were competing at the top end for three pieces of silverware. And they all won the League Leaders Shield title uh, for the first time there as well. Look out for Tara Jane Stanley, one of the big signings made for this season by York City Knights. Uh, a huge performance from her in World Cup year as well and Katie Langen who's going to play or named in the centres today uh, the halfback the uh, the joint captain one of the top standout performers really uh, this year so some real talent in the in the visitors side and of course the familiar names in the Rhinos side tonight the halfbacks of Georgia Roach and Courtney Winfield Hill who attracts a lot of headlines and uh, attention uh, wherever she goes uh, Caitlin Beavers who could become the first player to score 50 tries for Leeds if she's uh, in business today. She's only, I think, 10 points shy of uh, 200 points for the Rhinos as well. So some, some individual accolades, but really it's all about the team goal and that league leader shield at stake. It's a big one, this, live and exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. And we're just about ready to go. The turnstiles have been open in Headingley. And I can see spectators still walking through. Just the one main stand open opposite. And a decent gathering in. It's been well supported, this competition. And these two sides, two of the heavyweight sides in the Betfred Women's Super League. So we await the two sets of players going through their final preparations. The two coaches, Kyle Amor, were, were keen to stress when I spoke to them pre-match. Yes, there's a lot of stake today, but really, if you think about what's at stake, you lose sight of the fact that if you don't treat this as a normal game, then you are likely to give yourself uh, the best shot of winning. This is, this is another step towards the big goal, which for both sides is, is, is that road to the grand final. Yeah, it sure is, look, and we can all be reminded of the dominance of St. Helens last year, winning all three trophies available. Well, these two sides, they get an opportunity today, don't they, to snatch that away from Saints, the first one of them. And, of course, you've got that double header that we mentioned about pre-game in a fortnight time here. So unlike the men's competition, the, the, it's not really relevant where you finish as such, as long as you finish inside that top four with both of those games back-to-back -back here. A week on Sunday, I think it is. And you mentioned it, though, that league leader shield. I'm sure that these players out there, all 34 of them, will be desperate. And there's a decent little crowd here, isn't it? Gathering there, over in the far side. And St Helens may still have a role to play in the destiny of the league leader shield today. They conquered all before them, of course, last year. Sweeping the board. But here come York, who know that it's in their hands today. Here come York City Knights, ladies. The league leaders, they know a win here. And they have the league leaders' shield heading back to York. But could the Rhinos still have a say? The hosts are hungry. York have had a heavyweight season, and this is another step along the road to what they hope is grand final glory. Today will be a big test, though, for Lindsay Anfield's side, as they are made to wait by 
the Leeds Rhinos. A lot of nerves out there, George, I can tell you that. Such an important game, this. And it can't be undersold what this, what a win he could do. Obviously, look, we've mentioned a number of times already that league leader shield. There's no, I don't think there's much more need to really bring that up again. But it's what the psychological impact can have with that game in a fortnight's time, which is arguably more important than the league leader shield. Well, here come the Rhinos. Poised and ready to go. The traditional anthem welcoming their arrival. Marching on together. And will they be marching home with the league leader's shield? They'll need a victory and potentially a big one, depending on what Saints do later. But here we go, live and exclusive on the Sportsman. It's going to be the hosts. Leeds to get us underway. Courtney Winfield Hill, there's the ref, Sam Houghton today. Big afternoon for him as well. And it'll be York to receive. The top two. Well, it's the best attack, George, against the best defence. You know, Leeds Rhinos, they're averaging 43 points a game. And the York City Knights, incredibly, are only conceding six per game. So. It really is best attack, the best defence, first v second, like you said. And 80 minutes of quality women's rugby ahead. The 13 second tackle it window observed against all forms of discrimination, including racism. And we are underway. Kickoff from Courtney Winfield Hill. And here comes hey, York hey. with the first carry. They're going to start their set. Round about 10 from their own line. The two best sides in the Women's Super League, toe to toe, potentially for the league leaders, Shield. Sinead Peach involved early at dummy half for York, who are up towards the 30 here. Leeds just making sure they get through the uh, the first defensive set with no penalties, Four, no mistakes at all. Give themselves a platform to go on and challenge. Peach again coming back and then a change of direction. It's going to be the last though. They've made up to 40 here. The ball has to find Tara Stanley. You'd imagine she's got a wicked boot on it. It's charged down there by Bennett. Oh, where's that going to go? It's come backwards. So Leeds will pick it up. That's a great play from Leeds. Ah, brilliant player there from the nine. She know the threat that Tara Jane Stanley's boot gets out there, forces a kick pressure, gets aside the ball back. 42 metres away now from York's line. And oh, what a platform that has laid here. Yeah, just look at that there, commitment there. All over it, Bennett. Three, move! That's me, we have 10 metres. Great opportunity, first real shot for the Rhinos. Here they come with Roach. Move. Good grappling defence from York, but they're back on their own 20 here. Opportunity knocks, perhaps, for Lois Forsell's side to strike first. Get used to seeing that. Georgia Roach travelling across the field with runners coming underneath her. She uses that shape quite a lot. Here's Winfield Hill down the left channel. That's a big hit. Oh, good offload, though. Now then, can Beavers get the ball away? York will... Diffuse the danger and oh, run me. it back. Here we are now, back here, back. Oh. An enthusiastic start to this one. Kyle Amore. Yeah, certainly has, and it's all be the Rhinos, hasn't it, in the opening couple of minutes. Larger down to that kick pressure from Kira Bennett. Two, and it's York now. We've got second play gone just over the 10 metre line away from their own end. They've got it all to do. Yeah, Leeds winning the early arm wrestle here, no mistake. Move, move. That's me, keep coming. Go. York, that's a great <laughs> quick oh, I was going to no. say, that's a great quick play. The ball, it wasn't. Tams in Renouf there. Just spills the ball. I thought that, well, I knew straight away we have the, <laughs> obviously the luxury of being up here high. But as soon as that quick play of the ball, I knew Peach was going to get out, but she's played the ball incorrectly. Whoa. And it's Leeds Whoa. now. Kerrigan with a. Strong carry. Opportunities here for the Rhino. Beautiful offload. Now then. Oh, Courtney Winfield-Hill was screaming for it. 
First receiver left side. She slots in now to acting half. Goes to the right side and Roach across the line. Gap starting to open up for the Rhinos. Can they get over in the far side? Has Goldthorpe got there? Crash is over. <laughs> and the Rhinos strike first at Headingley to lead four points to nil. Yeah, and it all comes off Tamsin Renouf's error, doesn't it? Delay the point in the middle of the field there. But it's that error from Renouf, isn't it? That's two sets that they've done and, uh, and came up with two errors, really. The yes one was a kick charge down, but the cardinal sin of just not playing the ball correctly. And we just see there, Tamsin Renouf, she penalised. I'm not quite sure if it was one of those where she hasn't quite regained her feet. And referees do judge that as a knock-on. But off the back of this, if look at the work Georgia Rhodes does. Her ability to... Uh, I mentioned that shape about showing someone underneath. And then it's how she squares up for me, George. She squares up beautifully. And that final pass there, she just gets on the outside of Langen, doesn't she? It's a great try. A wonderful start as well for the Rhinos. Perfect start. And it gets the points on the board that the start, you would say, deserves. Right from that charge down, really. It's been all about the Rhinos. Four points to nil. Four and a half minutes in. As Courtney Winfield Hill lines up a tough touchline conversion. Around about three metres in from the far side. She's brought it back, what, about 13 metres or so from the goal line. So tough angle, this. In bright sunshine at Headingley. Oh, oh, it just short, dropped yeah. short. Yeah. So, so 4-0 leads. That kick there, just landing short. Even if it had the, the flight on it, it was looking that way, it was just going to miss any was one it to the left-hand side. But it's this here. Just look at the work Georgia Roach does. Show someone underneath, but that ability there just to square up. And Goldthorpe, well, she's too quick, isn't she? She gets in between Langan and Taylor. And it's always a danger sign, isn't it, when, Golf, when Fran Goldthorpe gets the ball in the hands. Sorry, but it's that ability there just to square up. Time it. And just gives Fran Goldthorpe a lovely soft pass. And she has all the work to do and does so. Oh, oh. dear. Now then, there's a big mistake. It's all about how you back up when you score, and Leeds have had a big wobble there. What about the kickoff there? That was a wicked one, wasn't it? I think it was Anna Butcher. Let's have another look. It was the slip, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the slip, wasn't it, there from Tara Moxon. A wonderful kickoff, Pat Richards-esque. Yes. Great opportunity for York City Knights to hit right back. Look where they are, bang in front of the sticks, trading 4-0. But what a chance here. Change of direction. Good tackle on Jazz Bell and had to be as well. Butcher was steamrolling towards the line there. Quick play of the ball. Back they come left. That's where they sense they can get at this Leeds defence. Referee screaming at the Rhinos to get back on side. Right on their line here. What can they conjure? Little dancing feet of oh, Stanley. Hold. And then Sinead Peach again, barking instructions. Oh, can they get the millimetre short? Second carry of the set, Jazz Bell. They look like they're going to come right here. Keep your eye on Tara Stanley. Oh, they'll grub a kick through. This could be anyone. Sam Leeds got that cleanly. They have. Yeah, the wrong option there, Peach. I understand what she's trying to do, but everybody else is set back 15 metres, George. There's only her who could realistically chase that kick. And the Rhinos, Two. they were aware to it. Move. Trapped and scrapped the ball, got back on it. On and turned oh. defence into attack as they try and clear their own end through Caitlin Beavers now. Three, move! Up and square that will really do the Rhinos confidence in defence. The world of good defending a, a set on their line. Four, move! And That's their 4-0 lead meters. remains oh. intact as they come forward again. Oh. Great oh. start to this one. Live and exclusive on the Sportsman. They're going to kick on That's the fourth, it. I think, here. Georgia Roach goes long, spots Tara Jane Stanley out of position. She's got the best footwork in the competition oh, for me, George. Move. She's almost like a, a Jay Field, a Bevan Hold. French moulded into one. Watch your contact. Go. Get nice and low. You've been quality this season. Every time I watch the player, I've came away from the ground thinking that she's hey. on a different level to Move. everybody else. That's two. Go. This is another one. Oh, it's a great run. And that's got a roar. Move. Back to me now. From Hold. the visiting fans. Go. 
Lacey Owen to the left hand side. Here come York again. Oh, move! That's it. Right side here. Attacking with vigour oh, here. Sure. Leeds already pinned back on their line once again. Sanderson. Five and left. Last tackle. Move! What, mate? Oh. Wherever they're going to go this time. Yeah. Kick down into this near. No, they're going to just oh, drill one. too much on that, yeah. Towards the post and Leeds. That was easy to deal with. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Sinead Peach as well. She's so aggressive and so quick out of row. Anything that's left on the floor, quick like all goods nine. She's able to just to spot that and break away. This is a good run from goal for but the, Those last Move. two kicks, well, they haven't been executed properly. Perhaps leading sure. to the half-back on the next set. And Leeds comfortably now Whoa. over halfway. Move. Look how that's quickly they've oh. eaten up the yardage there. Cool. Another good starting position here. 4-0 they lead on the sportsman. A reminder, the league leader shield at stake here today. She started brightly as well, hasn't she? Danielle Anderson inside the open in nine minutes. Got through a number of carries, finds a front offloads there as well. Butcher on that far side. A couple to go this set. It's back with Roach. Oh, what a pass. Beautiful ball to Winfield Hill and then running out the back. They come once again with Beavers. Gets the ball wide, running out of room though is Robinson. Let go of her. Go. Goldthorpe's line, down, line. by the way, in back play. Yeah, I think go, she's OK. Sorry. Winfield Hill just pops it up and says, have a little run at that. Stop and Leeds obliged, and this could yield oh. points, and it does. Caitlin Beavers has tried number two. And Leeds have gone one end of the field to the other to okay. double their money. They certainly have, and what a try that was as well. The sequence of movement all throughout that set was brilliant, largely through Georgia Roach and Winfield Hill. But it's when the play breaks down, they come back through with Winfield Hill and they drop the ball off on the inside. And it's the work there that I think it's Sophie Nuttall is able to do. We're just watching it unfold here. Winfield Hill has a lot of time on the ball, drops it off. It's Roach once more. Those two combining a wonderful offload there to Nuttall. And it's Caitlin Beavers who's next on the score sheet. This is a terrific start for the Rhinos. It really is, George. Oh, they've just defended two sets on their line. Well, the two former women of steel just combining, showing their class. And it's wonderful in the anticipation, staying alive. Usually when you move away from a touchline, George, you can be guilty of just thinking that they're going back to the oh, middle of the nice. field. Well, Courtney Winfield has oh, all oh, the God. time in the world. And <laughs> well, Georgia the Roach there just drops underneath and the rest is history, isn't it? It's a high quality start at Headingley. York have not really done a lot wrong. And they find themselves 8-0 down with 11 gone. All right, okay. All right, thank you. Courtney Winfield Hill lines up another one, this time from this left hand touch line. England International. Four seasons now at the Rhinos. And this to make it a 10 point game. Oh, that looks a cracker. And she's nailed it from this near touch line and Brilliant. Leeds do lead by 10 points to nil. Yeah, it's a dream start here for the Rhinos at Headingley Stadium. Well, look at here. The ball starts there from the wing and everybody else on this left, right-hand side of York, well, they just clock off for a moment, don't they? Georgia Rose stays alive. A wonderful offload to Nuttall and Frank Gulford there. You mentioned it pre-game, George, a 50th career try. And how important is that one? Start is slow, haven't they, York? Well, let's see what this restart's like. Found touch last time. On set! A repeater, that would be nice. It's gone central this time. Off the knee, play on. Control off the knees, and here come Leeds again. Leading by 10 points oh, to nil. Control Tries from Frank hold. Goldthorpe hold. and Caitlin hold. Beavers. Two of their star performers. Yeah, certainly. And two of the star performers for England as well. It's so important for two. these girls, yes, to get through That's games uninjured. That won't be in oh. their mind for sure. But the quality Go. of what they're doing certainly will be. And Craig Richards and Derek Hardman. Three, move! I mean, no. Sorry, Keep Craig Richards, out. rather. Hold. You'll be watching every single game with the World Cup coming up next month or so. Four. Not all with the carry. Hold! 
And there so, goes Bennett again. It's a good run from her, met by Renouf Bennett, as well. Move! Okay. Olivia Wood in there too. Okay, Last right. tackle on halfway. Right. Beavers at acting half. Winfield Hill, first receiver. There she is, promoting the ball. And then Roach will go okay, long. Side. Diagonal. Dissects perfectly full back and winger. Perfect set after points that, George, isn't it? And a wonderful kick. Backed up by a chase as well. Oh, and goal fourth in there. Up and score all night. On a foot. It's been a, constr a controlled first 14 minutes or so from the home side. Two, move! Back here, left side. Hold. Go on, sorry. That's a jinking run from Stanley again, and then Peach promotes. Three, That's a good move! From Android. One, Hold. Go. Operates a back row and centered to Savannah. Four, move! Back to me now. Right side here. Go. And that's now that then, over halfway, oh, looking for the oh. offload. That sh came off a lead hand, yeah. didn't it? Good run there from Peach and an offload Go. off the back of it. Referee says this remains the last, though, so they're looking for the kicker. There we go. High. Chase that oh, one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Great oh, take. Well taken as well. Yeah. Confidently done. From Beavers, who oh, runs leads back up towards the 20. Here. Back 10. Oh. High octane stuff oh, on the yeah. sportsman as these two fight it out Same for the league there. leader shield. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, it's a knock on. Elise Akpa straight into the field of play. Yeah, it's coming down. Her and Basali coming oh. over from the Catalan yeah. Dragons. That's a big involvement early on. Leeds contesting that decision. We've got a loose forward, yeah? Mm. Yeah, he's he probably third. They're right team. to contest it as well. The tackle looked to be complete, didn't it? Yeah, OK. Two Sam hands, Orton, two he thought otherwise. Two. That's it. Well, opportunity. Oh, yeah, hey. big opportunity as well. Now, look, I don't believe, George, that it's all that important. Well, it, that they, I don't think they have Indiana. to score with 15 oh, minutes on the clock, but they need something. That they need a bit more quality to the end of the set, for sure. Yeah. Two, move, up and square. <laughs> Time off. First data, please, guys. Oh. Caitlin Beavis yeah, there. Beavis has got a problem. Stay still for us, Caitlin. So the referee halting play. It looks like there's a bit of blood coming out of oh, her head can, as well. You yeah, can you see, can see a the palm hand. of a hand covered. Let's hope she's okay. Don't yeah, bang on the back shit. of the head, she sees. I'm trying to get in, shit. Saw one of them, didn't we, on Friday night in that Saints derby with Brad Singleton? <laughs> just a bit. Blood pouring from the head. Just a little reminder of what these players go through. Take your time, there's no rush here. Time's off. I'm sure we should be OK. A bit of Vaseline, bit of strapping. <laughs> I'm sure she'll want to just get on with this, but the, uh, the correct protocols will have to take place here. So okay, a pause in play after a breathless first 15 and a half. Here's another look at it. It's just there right in the in. elbow on top of the head. Nothing in it. Two. Well, yeah, we saw in the in the wheelchair game a number of the Catalan players coming over now that their season's finished and playing for Halifax. I'm sure that's the same situation here with the two girls coming over. Once their season's finished, they are allowed to come across and play we got to remind ourselves, George, it's an amateur game. The, 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 there's no sort of rule in place if, around paid players being able to play for any other club. You know, it's transfer fees aren't involved at this level. So now running repairs ongoing. Just worry about your safety first, Caitlin. No, A chance for all the players out there to take stock. It's been 100 every, miles an hour stuff so far. Leeds have okay. held the upper hand, reflected on the scoreboard at the moment, yeah, as you can see. Ten points to nil. The tries Shots, from Goldthorpe and Beavers. This York side, they just need to find a way of manipulating the middles of the Leeds Rhinos and then shifting it out wide to Tara Jane Stanley. I think she's the she's been the constant threat all year. You can get the ball into her hands near the line with space around her. Well, she's good enough to do the rest. 
I watched them this game over in York earlier on this season. <laughs> Obviously, I mentioned there, Tara Jane Stanley had a wonderful game that day, but the middle unit as well really exposed leads, worked them over, punched holes through them as well. You're going to need that, especially later on, George, as this heat takes you take over. It is a warm day, isn't it? It's a really hot day. August bank holiday weekend. <laughs> Let's just see if this lengthy stoppage takes any of the fizz out of this occasion. Often it does. We'll all be wearing them next week. Get to see a number of these players, won't we, in the World Cup? Oh, really? Everybody fighting for those England shirts. <laughs> OK, tackle two. Let's play on now with Peach. Here we go, then. Another opportunity for York to attack this Leeds defence, which has so far been watertight. Peach. Oh, dear. And that's where they're at, George. You know, they've just had about five minutes there to get the breath, get set, get organised. Peach and Jasmine Bell. And Jasmine Bell's just got to cat cat that ball, really. You get to see it. There's nothing wrong with the pass. She just snatches at it. Perhaps having a look out the corner of her eye at what's in front of it. But for me, they've not really been able to complete any sets down here, George, have they? Yeah, it's kind of middle. Yeah. OK, heads in. Yeah, two hands, please. Feed the ball with two hands. Hold! Well, I yeah, wonder where they're coming on this scrub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All but one lined up down this left-hand side. Oh, that's good defence after an error. Well, that's well, what the Anfield will want to see. Well, Your team wanted to make up for a mistake together. Go. Zoe Hornby now. Sue! She was brilliant in that Challenge Cup final out. win. Oh, uh, sorry, good. loss over Saints. Earlier this year, Ellen Road. Oh, nice offload promoting the ball. Here come Three. the Rhinos Move. again. Can square that out? Hold. It's great defence from Andrade. Go. Sees the threat of the fullback, Goldthorpe. Winfield Hill. Oh. Now then, here we go. Half oh. through the gap, Move. Caitlin Beavers. Right side. Hold. Cool. Walking wounded at the moment, with the head strapping on that head wound. Winfield Hill again, promotes the ball and then Roach. Such wizardry in the centre of the field. Last, last tackle. Go. Stanley retreats the York fullback. Where's that going to go? It's oh, going to pop up perfectly. Kick. Stanley will run it back. With that footwork again. But just look what it does, George. Move. It allows him to get in between He's players, get an extra oh, 10 metres. He's fighting oh. hard for the play of the ball there. Looking not to get a six again, but a better result, a penalty it is. Rhino's offside. There's an eternity there on the floor, trying to keep her down. And then they just jumped the gun. I thought it would have been a set restart, but it's a penalty instead. It's a better outcome for them. What are we doing? It's here, Sarah. Matilda Butler is on for Full York. Touch. And Jazz Bell makes way after that handling error. And Stanley will hoof into touch. On the far side hasn't made a great amount of room. That's got up to it's got up to Lois Forsell and the Rhinos coaching staff. Back a bit, in line with touch here, in line with the touch, Judge. So another opportunity for York to mount something. Oh, that's a big contact, isn't it? Yeah. That's got the crowd involved. Hannah Butcher, a terrific defender in her own right. Well, she lets Akpa know. Two, move. This is what York need now, just people get getting, getting, getting left on the floor, playing the ball quick, bringing Peach into the game as well. First involvement Three. for Butler. Move. Up and down. Right side here. Hold. Peach, Go. as always, is there. Straightening up and running Go. to within 20. Move. Right hand That's side. Peach will, I'm sure, come back in field Go. left. No. Change of direction, they're going to run right again. Stanley with that footwork, Bell. not this time. Move. Last tackle. So Stanley's out of the equation on the last. Go. Peach hurries in. Do they know it's the last? They're going to turn it over. Turn over. No, again, not really a quality end to the set, but in the grand scheme of things, George, it's not a bad place to turn the ball over if you consider where they started from. Yes, they got that penalty that sort of relieved them at 10 or 15 metres, but turn the ball over there. Well, it's fantastic Move. if you're willing to front-load your energy and go after them. 
hold. Which York will try and do now. Oh, it's all. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. No. Another offside. <laughs> and another piggyback up the pitch. This time, Leeds are oh, the beneficiaries. Touch. Yeah, that's just sloppy there for York City Knights. Yep. And they're not quite hit the strap so far inside the opening quarter of this game. It's Winfield Hill. She doesn't find touch. Tara Jane Stanley oh. gets it. Oh, now, oh, here's danger. Me. Look out, here's trouble. Oh, hello. One, two, three side steps. Four, five, still going. And another. Oh. <laughs> That's quality stuff oh. from it. It's Move. the seventh it's Leeds good. tackler who eventually <laughs> stops Stanley in her tracks. Go. Now York can attack. You feel like they yeah, yeah, deserving of a try. There's something, something coming here. Coming for oh. sure, yeah, George. Hey, They're it's growing cool. into this game. Oh no. Zero. Yeah, a wonderful tackle Zero. there from Move. Beavers on Renouf. Well, credit leads his defence. Because they've not given anything yet. No, Go. they haven't. Move. They certainly Let's haven't. Go Hold. You feel go. the next goal's important already, George, yeah. don't you? 100 percent No, that sounds crazy. We'd only 20 minutes gone on the clock, but you know, you sat top of the league, the league leader shield up the stake. Right side here. You come here away oh. and you're 10-0 down. It's not ideal. Well, Leeds lead 10-0, and go. I think they've attacked twice. Three. Move. Yeah, that's Please a fair go. point now. But here they come again. Oh. They have Move. been potent when they've had a chance, the Rhinos. That's oh. been the difference. Go. And defensively, they've been watertight. I wonder if they might just kick early here now they're over halfway it's the last this York side they need to get pressure on Roach she's running that same shape over and over again they're going to drill it down the line I think here that's exactly what they do bit of football control oh, oh that's great brilliant. work isn't it Moxon all over it and look what it does to this York side they have to get all the way back behind the ball and these are tough carries now coming out of backfield move well, May, here we are. Well, what here. the Rhinos Hold. are doing brilliantly here are playing cool. percentages. It's been ruthlessly efficient so far. Yeah. Three. Certainly, as George, they just That's methodically me, went about the work, cool. haven't they, and put the ball into corners, tried to negate the threat of this girl here. If you give a broken field, she's the most dangerous player in the competition, oh. but if you can put her in a corner and really here get after it, Grass you limit what here. she can do. Hold. She reminds cool. me, you, you compared her steps to a couple of players. She reminds me of a. A young Sam Tompkins before his knees went. Yeah. <laughs> but he gathers the ball in backfield. Yeah. They've got to get a good Watch kick pressure on here. here they don't go. get anything on it. And look what she's able to do. If you're not going to put kick pressure on, she'll split the winger and full back. As Goldthorpe now, she's another one of those players in broken field that's so dangerous. And we've seen it here again, George. Here she's off from going. It's a good oh, tackle. Move. It had to be. Oh, Ashley High just standing up and saying, go. You're going to have to go through me. And then goes for the second attempt. Soup! Move! There goes Caitlin Beavers, Beavers in the wars so far after 23 minutes. Go. It's the top two in the Betfred Women's Super League, live and exclusive Three. on Move. the Sportsman. Back here, keep coming. Time League up. leader shield Go. up for grabs today. It's certainly York's if they win. It's probably Leeds' if they win. But a Rhinos win does open the door for St. Helens, depending on how so many exactly they could well. beat Wigan by later on. But we don't need to worry about that yet. Another oh, stoppage in play, another injury. It's Butler. Yeah. yeah Matilda Butler just cops it. So you, you a forearm in, in the throat, is it? <laughs> Can you call the side? Good carry, wasn't yeah, it, so from I, Sophie I, I Robinson hold. there out of the backfield. Need to be the, the whole right side. Another stoppage in play. Holding, right. just got to wait for that foot. Yeah, it wasn't Chance it? to yeah. get some water on board. On, there's a couple more. Well, like you mentioned, George, this lead side, they've got in good ball opportunities twice, but crucially come away with points. And that's been the difference, hasn't it? York have had a number of sets down there, but the quality of the bias, particularly around player four and five, it just hasn't been where it needs to be. Not really building any pressure, not asking any questions of Leeds, just... You've got to do a bit more. More running repairs. Meanwhile, Leeds Go. have made another change with Shannon Lacey on in place of Zoe Hornby. And another oh, strong carry. Move. That's me, we are. That's it, good. Wanted the offload there, but thought better of it. Go. And just sets Leeds up centre field with Courtney Winfield Hill back inside. Another strong burst from Lacey, move. first involvement. Last tackle, oh. this. 
So I'm sure they'll look for Roach again. Here She's she got is. Too much time on the ball, George. To put that kick and make it difficult. It's a great take. Good chance. And even too. better defence there from Goldthorpe. Butcher. Well, and Robin there. Uh, and Moxon are all right in there too. Right side, here. Once again, look right what it does to this York it. side. There's only one ball carrier now. You can really tee off and as Kira Bennett does there. Two. Move. Right one shoulder eight. contact. Yeah. Hold. Go. Oh, oh a bad error. Two knock ons, this one's York. Well, that's a huge error Which because York have been yeah. huffing and puffing and it's pressuring the Leeds line, and suddenly they're in real danger of conceding a third against them. Yeah, Sinead Peach there. She steps out and wants to try and do a bit of work with the ball, but just spills it right in front of her. And last time this happened down here, it was Townsend Renner who come up with error at the play of the ball, and now it's Peach, and you just wonder if the outcome's going to be the same. Are we going to see the third try of the afternoon here? Georgia Roach. Here come the Rhinos. You called it, Kyle. Next score is crucial. And Leeds have been up this end of the pitch twice and score twice. The Rhinos. Wait for that foot. Dangerous near the line. They're running out of room. They're just about to stay in the field of play. They'll work it back in field to the left, I'm sure. Oh, it's messy. Ah, it's messy. Pass, wasn't it? And York have diffused the danger, but Leeds really let them off the hook there. Yeah, they did. The width of the pass, it wasn't quite what it executed Move. well enough, was it? When they're asking too much of your nine there, or you went, you want a better pass from her, I'm not too sure. But I just love how Move. York reacted first and just put the body on the line to dive on the ball sure. as they roll forward now here with Ellis Appa. Mentioned the Catalan Dragon oh, being brought in move. to really stiffen up oh, the middle of York, oh, give him something, give him another option, another go. point of attack. It's a high tackle. Yes, it was indeed. That's Didn't tackle. miss. Careful, tackle four up. as well, George. They're okay? coach killers. Tap all right with me. It was Olivia Wood here, just gets the ball on a drop off play. Oh. And it is a high one. So another chance for Lindsay Anfield's York to get themselves on the board. Oh, dummy runner went through. Referee was happy enough with that. Yeah, there's enough depth in that for to play on. Short side. There's the step from Stanley. That was a nil advised Zero. offload. You know, if there's one criticism Zero. of Tara Move. Jane Stanley, it's perhaps that she does too much of it, if you know, if that makes any okay. sense. Go. You know, sometimes just get let the ball go early, mix up your game a bit better. You don't always oh. have to run Move. and step. Oh, no. Oh, go. I sound like I really contradicted myself. I'm aware of that. But sometimes, Two. you know, just Move. mixing oh, it up a bit. Oh, wait for that foot. Oh, no. Go. So another opportunity goes begging for your... That's a big contact in centre Move. field. Fantastic oh, carry that, yeah. Hold. Someone's lost Go. a boot there. So they will find it in back Hold. play. Up Move. a bit high there, Andrade. Gets away with it. Shannon Lacey goes back. She's out of commission because she's... She lost Move. a boot. And then a <laughs> York opponent Hold. threw it back 15 metres. <laughs> Last tackle, Winfield Hill goes diagonal. She'll find the ground here. This is a quality game, this, George. This is Brilliant set, set stuff. But you're right, the next score oh, just feels move. absolutely yeah. huge. Oh, for a you just feel that the way York have handled this first half an hour, they don't look like they're away, but Tara Stanley's away. That's a great tackle as well. Move! You don't want to let those bright orange coming. boots go. Oh. No. Six again, two slow. Oh, the tackle count is wiped clean by Sam Houghton. So another six from here Whoa. for York. Move! This is where York, for me, at the best. When they're rolling forward in pairs, as you see Andrade going forward, an option on the outside of it. Two. Get you a one-on-one -on -one tackle, play the ball quick. And then move the ball to space out wide and put it into the threat of those players that we've mentioned. And that's a great run as well. Holly Dodd. Yeah, on the switch play, Jinky Run, she's trying to offload Three. as well. Move. Thought better off it after what happened last time. For a foot, whole night. Go. But a good field position as they run left with Sinead Peach looking for support. No one there. Yeah, that Four. was the opportunity Move. for an offload, but there was no one there. Time and the referee has called time off. There's a rhino. Is it Kerrigan yeah, in backfield? Yeah, Chloe Kerrigan in backfield. Well, that's just better, isn't it, from York? If they can play more like that and put this together more consistently, 
Well, if they'd have started the game like that, George, I don't believe, I think we're looking at a 4-0 scoreline rather than 10. Stay time, there's no rush. Sorry, Sorry Kerrigan now. We down for a while? Seems to have a play down right. every 10 minutes at the moment. The doctors and physios just checking her over, going through all the necessary checks. Uh, 11. Oh, the run from Dodd. Look at the strength on it. Three players in, a fourth coming in in Kudjo as well, and still manages to find a front. It's terrific work. Sinead Peach, well, this is one of her absolute best there. A player down on the floor and just taking off. You mentioned as well, well, when she does that, she has to have someone around her, otherwise that's not, you know, it's just a 10 metre carry. There's a chance, an opportunity to play off the back of that. So the third lengthy stoppage of the half so far. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are here on the Sportsman. It's been breathless, hasn't it? No surprise if you were watching this and just thinking, I'll check the table to see these two sides, the very top two. Cheers, girls. Chloe Kerrigan is OK. Oh, with me. Back on side, yeah. Back you, on me. It's a great That's setup, a isn't it, this? Yeah. Go. What are York going to conjure? It's a set play. Here we go. There's Stanley with a jink. Running into a blue and amber brick wall. Move. Last Let's tackle. Here. Oh. Lacey Owen is the... Go. Dummy half. Do they know it's the last? They're going to run it on the last again and turn it over again. Okay, turn over. Well, where's the end Winning play? It. You're 10 0 down. Don't throw the ball away. Yeah, I'm annoying. confused with that one as well. And that's the kind of play you don't mind turning it over when you're leading a game. No, oh, they need something on the end of that, don't they? Ask a oh, question. Move. You know, force a lottery, a 50 50 chance of, with a little kick Throw. through with someone chasing hard. You never know, do you? If you're just going to carry it, you're just saying, there you Move. go. Back to me, Rihanna. Oh. You can have the ball back. The Good. Rhinos now play three. Coming forward once more. Earnshaw Kudjo's met by a wall Dominic. of black and yellow. Stand. Big Asleep. contact. Oh, Some Asleep. huge okay. contacts out there today. I'm glad we're up here. Winfield Hill. Oh, move. That's me. Keep coming. Left side here. Hold. Really vocal Hold. support as well Hold inside Henningley today. Hold. Go. A lot of these games this year. And the women's Super League have been part Final of double match. headers, haven't Move. they? So they've had yeah. a big crowd well. already in for the for the cool. men's game to follow. This is a standalone fixture, so good to see yeah. a vocal crowd out. Taken on the fall, and here goes Ashley Hyde. Oh, move! I can spare that now. Some game this into the last ten of the half. Cool. I do favour this right hand side, De York. Through Stanley, through Renault, through Ashley Hyde. Two, move! Savannah right Andre out there as well. Me. Such a powerful oh. direct ball carrier. Six again, two slow. Six again being called. The set's restarted as York oh. just head move. over. 38 metres oh. away from the line. You do feel they have to score soon, oh. don't you? And to be fair to them, they've had an awful Two. lot of possession move. in the last sort of 10 or 15 okay. minutes, but they haven't been able to put oh. anything on the end of it. Peach takes off once more. Well, they've not looked like scoring yet, but is this the moment? They're setting up just to the right Three. of the sticks, 15 move. away. Open square, whole night. Right for a foot. Peach with Let's options go. back inside. The options are Olivia Gale first up. Oh. Yeah, Gale and Atta just get the timing wrong. It's a penalty as well. Oh, that oh, leg careful. lift. I think it was Alex Barnes. What are we doing, York? Just took a bit too much off her. Tap Try line. As soon as you tip the leg past the horizontal, it is a penalty. See here, could join there. And Barnes just lifts a leg. It's deemed to be illegal, that. Best oh. chance of the match. Move. It's got to come now, George, oh, for me. Peach in front of the sticks, pointing Go. right. Going right. Pops it up. Can she get there? Not this time for Olivia Wood. Oh, well. Held up. Three off tackle soon. You see, they had a lot of joy last time they played each other with this, just hitting the front door, hitting the front door, and then eventually moving the ball, get them all sucked in around the field and move the ball out to your striking speed out wide. It looks like they're sort of settling for something similar Three. again. Move. Look at the number of oh, Rhino shirts in and around the posts. Will Peach Go. fancy it herself? No. 
takes it back off Wood. Now then, this looks good. Options left side. Oh. Brilliant this from York. And they'll have a stroll in far side. Wonderfully worked. And York City Knights strike through Katie Langan. And the Knights are on the ball. I mentioned that they had to score. And boy, did they do that. What a perhaps the best try of the afternoon for sure. A wonderful ball movement from right to left. I mentioned how they took a couple of players in and then moved the ball out wide. But it came as a surprise, a turn up between the front rower and Sinead Peach. And everything else off the back of it was just quality, top, top quality stuff. And that's breathed them back into this contest for sure. Peach there with a turn up play. Gets it out wide through Gale, who gets it turned back up again. I think it's Dodd who turns it up to her. And it's just a brilliant York City Knights try. Look at the ball movement, the depth, the timing, the Rhinos defence. They don't know what to do. <coughs> and in the end, well, Katie Langer, she won't get an easier put down than that. And look what it means. Gale in there, Dodd, Akper, Peach, all come running over. What a super try from them. <coughs> Well, that was a fantastic York City Knights try. Two of them could have scored it. They ripped the Leeds Rhinos defence to pieces there. That's the threat that they've got. I don't think this York team, I think they'll be the first to admit Lindsay Anfield as well, that they've not perhaps been at the best, but for the last 15 or so minutes, they've dominated field position. And you just, This is an important kick now, isn't it? Off that left peg. Tara Jane Stanley. Oh, brilliant stop. Beautiful. A six pointer and Leeds see their lead trimmed to 10 points to six. Kyle Amore, yeah, it was such an important try, wasn't it? That little turn up play between Peach and this ball from Gill to Dodd. Look at the, 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 the smarts just to turn that ball back up, knowing that you the defender's done a legs tackle on it. It's absolute joy to watch this lovely ball movement, depth and timing all correct. Hannah Butcher goes low, able to turn the ball back up to Gill. And Katie Langen, like all good wingers do, right place, right time. Ladies, Huge Go. score. Game on. Well, I'd stop short of saying the game needed that score because the game's been brilliant, but York needed that score. And they deserve that score. And that was the try of the match. Well, they do. They just got the, they got the opening start to the game all wrong, didn't they? If you're going to use the old rugby saying, still on the bus, if you like. But since then... Two. Move! They've shown up, haven't they, and made this game a real quality Go. contest. You can understand why these are the top two sides in the competition this year. Move! Up now, hold. Go. And there's five minutes of this oh, breathless first half inside. to go. Yeah. Oh, move. The quality of the competition, oh, George, over the last oh. couple of years, it's evident oh. now to see with your own eyes. Peach wants more that little deception from it. Oh, oh, brilliant. Okay. They're still going here. Yeah. Clean move. pick up from Gale. Last That's tackle. You get the sense that it's the Rhinos that are one and a half time now. It's with Stanley. Easy change of direction and then back. That's a difficult one to deal with. Where's that going to go? That could stay in. Oh, Leeds could be in touch here. Surrender! Oh, they got away with that. That could have anything could have happened there. Stand. Yeah, that took one. an awful bounce, Go. didn't it, for Beavers? She's managed to stay in the field of play. Robinson Two. lost the. But look Move. at the defence there from Renault. Chasing hard from Marker. Back here. This is what's going to really Go. please you if you're a York fan. Just seeing her work. She's in there again. Look, that's brilliant Three. play from the right-sided centre, oh, nice. almost oh. middle of the field, chalking three players Go. off. Shall and I? as a result, the Rhinos on play four. They've only oh, made 10 in the force, the error as well. Well, it'll be first knocked on York, not on the referee, seen get on with it. York okay, certainly knocked, knocked on, on second, Leeds knocked on first. Tamsin Renouf there, I can't under, I can't under sort of sell the work that she does there, it's brilliant. Really quality stuff. Her ability yeah, to want to chase the ball, get involved in tackles, and it's Holly Dodd on that occasion who forces the error. But it comes as a result of only being able to make 10 metres off four carries. So here come York again. That was Lacey Owen, Peach, Andrade. They've just found an extra yard of pace now, haven't they? Whether the Rhinos can't get back and set, or it's just a bit more purpose and intent from the carries. Peach will take it back. Here we go. Same play. Three, move. Well, if it works okay. once, why not try it again? Well, oh, Peach might go on her own here. Flings it back towards Wood. Oh, move. Now they'll set up Andrade and Peach, go. the two. Back with Stanley, nothing on. 
Well, there's always something on, but oh! Stanley's got the ball. How about that? From a standing start, the twinkle toes of Tara Jane Stanley and Yorker level. What a score, what a vital score as well. Look, I won't apologise for getting carried away with this girl, but she's the best player in the competition for me. Look at this, there's absolutely nothing on, except for a right foot and a left foot step, her strength and the presence of mind to put the ball down. What a try, and what a player she really is. That is a huge score in the context of this game. How important will that go on to be? If York City Knights can lift that league leader shield here today. I mentioned, didn't that Bevan French-esque, Jay Field-esque. Now you can understand why. The pace and the footwork of it. It's another level, George, it really is. So dangerous. And what a big moment in the game. Ten apiece with this to come. And all the noise now coming from the York fans' far side. Tara Jane Stanley has kicked one from one. This to give the visitors their first lead. Oh, she's put it wide. She's put it wide. And the cheers are from the home fans because with 90 seconds to go, it's 10-10 as we have another look. Well, everybody at home, just sit back, watch this, watch the athleticism, the finesse as well of it. It really is brilliant. Right foot, left foot. So strong, so agile. Uh, one. Could not be poised any better, could it? Live and exclusive on the Sportsman. The league leader shield at stake here this afternoon. At the top of the Betfred Women's Super League. Two best sides deadlocked Dominic. at ten apiece. I mentioned it was the Rhinos that needed half time. Go. Now you can Two. understand why. Move. Open square right after an awful all start from York, ball. it's now all ten all. Go. I mentioned how quality of a game this really has been. Well, I'm said, uh, don't go anywhere, Move. please do not. Because the next 40 minutes back, will be back. a cracker and all. As we enter now into the final 30 seconds on our clock up here. Whether that's the same as the stadium oh. one, I'm not too Move. sure. Oh, wait for a foot. Closing moments, you're right. Leeds need half time here. They've just lost all line speed, George, haven't they? Your oh, players man. rolling Move. 10 and 15 oh, metres forward each time. Go. Last tackle. Stanley's happy enough to drill towards the touchline. That's an and intelligent Leeds kick. are happy enough to let it go. And that tells you everything. And the referee's whistle brings to an end a brilliant first half. We've had blood out there. We've had thunder. We've had brilliant tries. And we've got a deadlock contest at the top of the Women's Super League. Ten okay. points apiece. The Rhinos roared into a double score advantage. Fran Goldthorpe going over. Caitlin Beavers going over too. It was a 10-0 lead. But that really didn't reflect how much York had put into this game. And you always felt that York City Knights ladies would have a say in this. And boy, they have come on strong. Their tries from yeah. Katie Langan. Brilliantly worked team try and then an individual effort from Tara Jane Stanley who missed the second kick that would have given her side a half time lead. But really at 10 10, Kyle Amor, this is beautifully poised. It certainly is, George. You know, and we saw some quality, quality tries within there, didn't we? It all started off, didn't it? Through that first try of the afternoon. I think it was Fran Goldthorpe who got us off to the start this afternoon. You just see here, Kira Bennett from the central part of the field, the width from Georgia Roach, their ability to square up, and then that pass there 
if I'm, if I'm honest, York City Knights between Taylor and Lang, and they have to do better with that, but take nothing away from the finish. Fran Goldthorpe there, playing at full-back today. He spent a number of times, a number of career appearances out on the right centre. But she's able to show what she can do if the ball gets to her where it needs to be. She's got enough depth on that just to burn the, the second in defender in Lang and get on the outside and she just show pure strength to score. And that was the opening score of the afternoon, wasn't it? Wingfield Hill on that occasion, she wasn't able to convert, but it's this play here, Nuttall finding Wingfield Hill, she has an eternity on the ball, but Georgia Roach senses that someone's coming for her, the footwork from her, she's been really lively this half, and gives it to Caitlin Beavers for her 50th try, her 50th Leeds try, at such a young age, she's so impressive for the England international, but Georgia Roach, who's been at the heartbeat of everything that's been good about the Rhinos, just watch her here, she knows someone's coming for her, steps hard, gets in between defenders, promotes the ball, and this just here, just that catch and pass into the corner. And it looked like it was going to be an exciting and try score free flowing day for the Rhinos. And then they found the way back. And this was the try of the afternoon for me. The turn up play there to Peach, out to Gale. And that's wonderful from Dodge. She knows that Hannah Butch is tackling low on her. So she's at the presence of mind just to pop that ball out. And look how excited the girls are. For me, that was the warning shot. They did threaten a couple of times, but they just didn't come up with any quality on the end. But my word, they produced there, the right to left shift. Normally, York's got a lot of their tries, George, on this right-hand side of the field. And on that occasion, they go to the left. But then this out of nothing. This will be disappointing for Lois Fassell in the dying embers of the half. There's some experience and quality players in there, isn't it? Fran Goldthorpe, Courtney Winfield Hill, being round long enough and a quality enough to deal with that. But saying deal with it and actually dealing with it, it's two different things. The footwork on it, there's nothing on it at all. This is just this is just a girl who just wants the ball in her hand, George. Wants to play, wants to attack and wants to score tries. And she does that. And exceptional stuff from her. And it poises it at 10-10. And the League Lady Shield still not yet decided. It's half-time. And really, as, as you say... Uh, just before we poised Kyle Aimer, it was Leeds who were, OK, it's 10 all, but, but they were hanging on. Yeah. They, they need this break, right? Yeah, certainly do. They certainly do. They were on the back foot, weren't they? The last 15 minutes or so in that half, and Lois Fassell, she can get everyone in together. Just say, calm down. Let's go back to what we were doing at the start, kicking the ball long, forcing errors from them, because York City Knights have come up with a couple of yardage errors, so that won't go away only if you're willing to go through the process, kick the ball into the corners, chase hard, and go after your work down there. Just for me, that last 15 minutes, they just the, the, the lack of line speed, York were able to dictate terms, and ultimately, when you've got a team that's full of that much quality, if you put them at the right end of the field, they will score points. It's been a brilliant game, live and exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. Don't go anywhere. The League Leader Shield is up for grabs, and we are still no closer to knowing where it's going. Is it going to Leeds? Is it going to York? At the moment, it's deadlocked. 10-10, don't go anywhere. Second half on the way. This is our moment. When we dare to push further. This is shaking the earth. On our own turf. After life-changing events, this is living and breathing the game. Seeing a community thrive. Having the chance to shine. Men's, women's, and wheelchair. Together for the first time ever. The world of rugby league coming to your town, your street, your heart. 61 unmissable games. 32 of the world's greatest teams. Three trophies. This is real impact. And when you hear the roar, Get ready to feel the full force of the Rugby League World Cup. Be there. Celebrate 25 years of grand final glory. Robinson! Robinson! What a try! The culmination of the Betfred Super League season at the iconic Old Trafford. Bring on the atmosphere. Bring on breathtaking moments. Bring on history. Bet Fred Super League Grand Final. Bring it on.
the women's Super League champions. Warrington dominating. Great try for the Rollins. And as Neil Giants take the points home. It's a good one. That is a full ass. This is our moment. When we dare to push further. This is shaking the earth. On our own turf. After life-changing events, this is living and breathing the game. Seeing a community thrive. Having the chance to shine. Men's, women's and wheelchair. Together for the first time ever. The world of rugby league. Coming to your town, your street, your heart. 61 unmissable games. 32 of the world's greatest teams. Three trophies. This is real impact. And when you hear the roar, get ready to feel the full force of the Rugby League World Cup. Be there. So 10 points apiece at half-time at a sun-drenched Headingley Stadium. A reminder of what is at stake today. York City Knights ladies have the lead at the top of the Betfred Women's Super League table. If they win, they secure the league leader's shield ahead of the playoffs. But if Leeds turn this around and get back ahead and see the match out. Leeds will be favourites to win the League Leader's Shield, but that also opens the door for St Helens, who are just going to kick off shortly against Wigan. And if Saints can win by 13 points or so more than Leeds win here today, then St Helens, who are currently third, could end the day with the league leader shield yeah look George you would imagine that St Helens will go over there to the to Robin Park where the well, of course where the Wigan Warriors women play and you'd imagine that they'll do a score on them won't they I can't see it being a tight contest there I really can't uh, past results will confirm that as well but I'm sure they'll have enough quality in there to get over the top of Wigan Warriors by 13 or so more points you're looking at probably 24 28 points I think they'll do them by so for them the message will get out to them, believe me, and then in the uh, in the changing rooms, they'll be aware of this scoreline. But it doesn't change for the St. Helens girls. They just have the goal there, put in a good performance. You never really want your any trophy or or, or or league title to be decided through somebody else's actions, really. But that's where they face themselves at. But for these two, they won't even be bothered about St. Helens one bit. So a lot at stake. OK, it's all about playoffs and grand final, but the margins are fine here. The sides could be finishing with the league leader shield or they could be finishing without home advantage. That's, that's, as, that's as fine as it is. Well, yeah, you talk about that home advantage, but for the Rhinos, the double header of the semi-finals is here at the ground, George, so I won't worry them too much. I just think for York, what an achievement it would be, wouldn't it, to get that, that first piece of silverware for them 
Well, this club have been building now for some time. Lindsay Anfield, the course, coming over, and a number of Ca uh, Castleford players following. I mentioned those recruits there from Catalan Dragons helping stiff up that middle. Grace Field, of course, she's still out. What a wonderful player she is. Such a strong ball carrier. Gets this York side on the front foot more often than not. But without her today, I just thought that the game itself, it was a game of two uh, It was a half of two halves, if you like, George. And the Rhinos, they've, oh, they've not got off to a good start here. Got away with that. It's gone backwards off Fran Goldthorpe. Yeah. A lot of sprinklers were on, George, weren't they, for the up for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after a first half of two halves, let's see what the second half brings. <laughs> the, hey, ma the mathematics. I've got to say, get your calculator out for that the, one. The mathematics were hard enough trying to work out who was going to finish where. We Tra don't need to be dividing halves into fractions as well. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back underway. All York know is that. If they win this second half, they're going to win the League Leader Shield. It's yeah. as simple as that. I think on the balance of it all, George, they, you know, they, they, they have deserved it. There's 40 minutes left oh, that will really ultimately Move. decide it. But all night, wait for a foot. That's an opening set yeah. for Rhinos. They get to the halfway line through Georgia Roach on this yeah. last tackle, and that's a good end to the set. Off the outside of the right boot, taken on the full by Tara Jane Stanley. Oh, move! Back in, Oki Wicking. Hold! Just wonder how much more she'll come into oh, the game as God. these Rhinos players tie it towards the back end that last 60 to 80 minutes. Two! That's move. a good defensive effort from Beavers. Oh, on the foot. See the Stamina. head strapping. Four. Stuck a heck of a knot, first half. It was a big carry there from Savannah Andrade. Move. Back to me. 15 metre King carry. Meters. That's it. Hold, go. They're very deep, York, aren't they? There goes Sinead oh, Peach. Move. She's just an intelligent Back runner, isn't coming. she? Even oh. just to get in behind the rug. Go. Got to really have tight defenders in and around there. There's another loose one here. Last. Gale move. going. Last tackle this, so Peach goes Hold. in. An awful lot of space in and around Shit. that rock there for the Rhinos. They have to tighten that up. Around that A and B defender, it's too wide at the moment. So yeah, it's going to be last tackle and restart, yeah. And there's an injury for lead, so time is pause with just under two minutes gone. Second half. Let's have another oh, look at this. Well, there's a double contact in there, wasn't there? Yeah. Lacey Owen there, just taking the line on. It was Peach the the, the play earlier. Inside that. They're going to kick the ball, aren't they? 40 metres out. So this will be the last tackle, but there's understandable concern because it was... Let's have another look. So it's kind of into the back of the neck, really. So they won't be taking any chances here. And you can see the Leeds teammate. You know, it could have been friendly fire, I think, that one. Yeah. Is it? Trying to think out which player it is. Is it Hannah Butcher, is it now? No, it's not Hannah Butcher. She's out there having a water now. So where do you think this one's going, George? Well, the match. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what Leeds can do to turn the tide because even at 10-10, you feel that York are in the ascendancy here. Uh, these were the, these were the uh, the key moments. If you're just joining our coverage from the first half, well, it was all leads, wasn't it? In, in the opening ten minutes, really, such a quick fire start. Frank Goldfort there getting the first of the afternoon, and it was really York that were almost couldn't get off the bus. They they got caught, didn't they, on the back foot, and they had to wait sort of 15 to 20 minutes of the of the uh, of the first half before they really got going and found the straps so it's important they don't start slow in this second half because you know 10 all you can't allow any more sides to get another 10 point race on you with only 38 minutes left on the clock well thankfully we are back underway everyone's all right move 10 10 on the sportsman two minutes gone second half leads in possession playing left to right what's going on there Miscommunication and Move. Winfield Hill eventually just says coming. I'll Hold. take it myself. Go. On. Beavers. It's a better carry. Ball. Move. Sitting behind that foot there. Hold. It's a quick play of the ball off Go the back on. of it. 
And Shannon Lacey up towards Bottom halfway. Last tackle Move. leads. Here we are, back here. Oh, for a foot. They will look for Roach, I'm sure. She gives it back to Winfield Hill. 40, you get sent. Drills it down the right side. In between Ten Wingler seven. and fullback, and it's Georgia Taylor to bring it back. Oh, well, that for a oh. kick return. Move. Up Georgia down. Taylor there returning oh, it with interest back, in between Roach and Butcher. Yeah, yeah. Just wanting to get the side on the front foot. Tara Jane Stanley Two. there. Move. The footwork can't That's do anything. There's four amber oh. blue and amber jerseys there. Sure. York up and over Three. halfway, looking Move. to mount something. Remember, Three. they trail 10 0. Six again, and oh, number they've got a tackle count wiped clean. Six from here, they might not need six. Brilliant burst. It's brilliant stuff, isn't it, from Dodd. Georgia Taylor there winning the six again. Whoa, Two tackles in the opening, three Whoa. players. Brilliant work from the winger. There's Peach. It's taken Two. off by the Butler. Move. Up and square all night. You're right in front of the sticks here. Sure. Sensing their first lead. It's that Peach. final play again, isn't it? Back on the inside, Peach will through. get it. Stanley, here's the danger. Okay, okay, okay. Dancing from left to right. Eventually takes four blue and amber Three. shirts. Move. For York to evolve the attack, they've got to get someone punching a hole off Tara Jane Stanley when she does all that footwork. And Parnell towards the line. Oh, move. From square eight. Oh, go. It was accidental. Peach again. The wraparound play. Okay. It's the same play. There's a winger free. Can they work it to this left hand side? Beautiful Tommy. And the try. Langan's got a second of the game. And York have their first lead. Time off. Captains. What a start it is from York City Knights. And it's that play again that we've mentioned. They threatened with it once already, that set. They threatened with it twice at the end of the first half. And on the fourth time of doing it, the Rhinos still can't come up with answers how to defend it. Sinead Peach had involved in large parts of it as well. scored the try, so it's an eight-pointer. And we had to score him. It's an eight-point try. It's an eight-point try, a penalty try given. Wow. What a big, big call from the ref. Let's have another look at this. Well, it's Peach and Wood combining again, isn't it? A turn up play, and it's Gale who looks for a bit of space. Peach stays alive, and it's a two on one. So you know what I mean? She sells so Hannah Butcher so you've the ball. The, you've gone I think it's Georgia Roach is deemed to slide in with the knees. Point That's point the reason for the penalty point try. Point. But the ball movement once again. Nice Gale's point. ability to see where Peach is, turns so. the ball up, and it's Langan, yeah, that yeah, beautiful yeah. sell there from Butcher. Oh. And it is. It's a, it's a knee over the top, isn't it? It doesn't hurt her, but it certainly hurt the Rhinos. That's a massive moment in this game. Massive moment. Eight point try. I thought. Oh, yes, we've got another now. Well, Stanley's missed it. Where? Leeds, Leeds, where? Right, the penalty will now be taken. Have it, have it, Ten metres out, so she'll get a crack here to put another two over. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of confusion about what's happened there. Come to one side, please, ladies. I always, th <laughs> I always thought a penalty try meant you go player. straight to the middle of the Just field and take your conversion. Penalty. And again, as a front rower, <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my job really to know that. Yeah, we'll just get clarification of that. Well, this I think this is the extra penalty. So this will make it a... This will be for the six. No mistake from Bang in front with the penalty. Well, what about the work from Peach? Look where she starts this move from. She turns the ball up, doesn't she? Here. But then continues to keep moving. Finds it back again. And that's just great work, isn't it? The, that, that play actually broken down there. You can tell by the over, the over sort of yeah, committed she, line she, there from Dodd. Well, I did see it. She's just trying to throw the ball. But her ability to keep on the ball. The play ends there for me. But Gail, she knows that Peach is wrapping around and is able to promote the ball. Ladies, and make sure, make sure. And that penalty try could be crucial. Eight points down. Oh, great take as well. They're in the mood now, York, aren't they, George? 
Just for our viewers who are watching, we've got it 18-10. We thought Two. a penalty try Move. was given. Open square all night. Go. They missed the conversion, but put the goal over from the middle. So there's a bit of confusion around. Three. Which Move. scoreboard is right yeah, in the stadium? Oh, yeah. 16 Four. points to 10 is the old lead. She's got up. Oh, release. Yeah. That's four. Back, back. 10 meters. Go. So 16-10. Well, now the in-stadium scoreboard's been changed to 18 oh, <laughs> Just, just well, to I'm keep having a laugh with George. <laughs> well, anyways, it doesn't matter. That'll all get ironed out, won't it? But at the moment... I'm not a doctor. There's a stoppage once more. They were checking the edge, yeah. Another stoppage in play. Stadium, clock, stadium scoreboard, by the way, is, is now reading 18-10 to the York City Knights. See, my understanding, I think, what I, personally, what I think well, happened here, I think Sam Holt's got the rule wrong. Shot. When that penalty Ready? try is given, the shot. conversion goes straight to the middle of the field. Back here. Five and last. Go. So, so confirmation, 16-10 is where we are. So ignore what you might see in stadium. 16-10 is well. the... Knight's lead. That's a great return, is it, from Goldthorpe? Still doing well. Oh, move! I can square that up. A few boos and jeers here. Oh, uh, he's got, yeah. High right. shot. That's Come on, he wasn't quite sure what to give there, but he's got a message from okay. the sideline. And the arms go up Penalty straight away, tackle. don't they, from Owen? Yeah, I think it was. Touch girls. Over on that far right hand side of the field. Terrific work from Goldthorpe. That last step, yeah, it's a definite high tackle. Lacey Owen over the top doesn't miss. It's not what they wanted. Lindsay Anfield's girls. Oh, it's another one there. Back-to-back yeah. -back penalties. Yeah. They just let leads off the hook here. They don't have to exert any energy to get out. I think for Winfield Hill, it's important she gets a good boot on this ball. Just see there. Zoe Hornby. Just a direct carry. The York player over the top. So amidst the confusion, Leeds are up towards Good. halfway. They trail by six here. 16-10 is the Knights' lead. Explosive contest live on the Sportsman. Wow. Daniel Anderson Move. back out there. She was terrific in the open in 10, 15 minutes. A number of good direct high carries. Lovely soft pass. Two. Move. That's an for coming. Oh. Go. Here come the Rhinos up towards 30 Three, away. Move. It's better from Roach, Pick isn't it? Right, Nothing fancy, you just go into the line, committing go. defenders, soft hands. Good defence, that, isn't it, there from Langen. Everybody oh. mapped off, he became man on man defence. Go. Roach. Leads straightening up and running move. at the post. Last okay. tackle. Oh. Go. Winfield Hill is the recipient. Here she is. Dabbed one over. This looks good. Oh, just too far. Well, you could see the idea, couldn't you? The space was all there. Playing it here. And just that kick, just a little bit too much, a fraction too long. Oh. Just oh. ran away, didn't it, there? Oh, you me. see Caitlin Beavers. Right. Right, Sophie yeah. Robinson oh. there Go. chasing the ball, ball down. down. That's me. Uh, yeah. Hold. Go. So York, who trails 10 points to nil, have scored 16 on out of points. Come on, come on in. Go. And as it stands, they will secure the league leader oh. shield today. Move. Yeah, plenty of action Hold. remaining. Just under up. half an hour's time. Stanley, oh, that's one of the left oh, boot goes long. Look at that. That's brilliant, George. It really is. Turns Fran Goldthorpe around. And interesting there in the back as she left the boot, left the ball, she screamed in the middles to get down there, work a bit harder. Because the kick's only as good as it shares, George, as we all know. And the back line of Leeds in Beavers and Moxon and Robinson and Goldthorpe 
They have the ability to open up defences. There's an error here from her. The error. That power in there again. She's come up with a number of players forcing errors, hasn't she? Swing on. York. Over there. And another an opportunity for the visitors. Butler and Atpa, just the weight of them, dislodges the ball. It's a big error from Beavers, that. Edson! Edson, pick it up and scrum. Left right, Hull! Yeah. Scrum, 37 metres away from Rhinos' line. What have they got in this set, York? There's Langan, two tries for them today. Well, I've no doubt if they get near the line, guess what play is coming? Maybe that turn up play from Peach for sure. There is Peach. Holly May Dart. Two, move! Back in, eh? Go on. And Peach again. And going to set up right in front of the post here. Move! On that time. Oh, go. Options all stacked up on the right hand side. Standing behind the plate oh, towards the line. Unstoppable. Second of the afternoon for Stanley. And York now. Have a lengthening lead. Miss you would do. And it's through that goal once again. I said, didn't I, in the first half, if you can get the ball out to where he needs to be and give her one on ones, well, it's almost impossible to tackle her. She's so good. And just look here once again. Peach there onto Owen. Out the back. The two dummy runners go through. And Kaylin Beaver, who's had a horrible minute and a half there, came up with the error. And he's unable to deal. With the best player in the competition, Tara Jane Stanley. He might have just played a huge part there in securing York for League Leader Shield. Two tries to Stanley, two for Langan. And York, having trailed 10 0, now have a 10 point lead with a kick to come. It's been a brilliant response from Lindsay Anfield's side. And what have Lee's got left? Back to time. Not to be too critical there, Caitlin Beavers. But it's man-on-man it's -man defence, you've got to be able to deal with that. Especially the quality that she is as well, Beavers. Here comes Stanley. That looks like it's faded just. Had the distance, not quite the accuracy. So 10 points is the York lead as we have another look at that night's try. Yeah, Lacey Owen goes to the line, has two dummy runners there, getting on the inside and outside of Beaver. She's able to map off, but there's just not enough land behind her. And when the ball gets into the hands of the fullback of York, well, it's game over. Huge score, what a moment. Oh, charming, what a player. Yeah. Yeah, terrific today, two tries apiece. For Stanley and Langan, Leeds have gone short, that's not got 10. Oh dear. The raffle George at the moment, they are the Rhinos. Big error. I'm not sure they needed to go short. Not with 25 minutes left on the clock. Uh, no, it's the player for me is kick the ball long and really just assert your dominance back with your defence. Go after contact. Is this York side now? This is what they done last time over in York. Just started really attacking and rolling in and behind the rocks. Landed on the front six again, is giving away here. They can't deal with them at the moment. York are on a roll. And it's nothing fancy either. It's just one out carries in and behind the rock. Trying to bring Peach into it. And then when the time's right, shifting out wide. Look, Pia Andrea there, back through the middle. So this is getting worrying move. for the Rhinos. Up and square. Oh. Could get away from them here. Oh. They sense blood. The Knights. Here they come. Ten away. Three. With Dom. Move. Go. Peach back inside. Silky smooth play. Stanley promotes. They've got... Oh, no, they've lost the yeah. ball. Just a bit too much on the end. Perhaps getting a bit too excited. Whoa, move. Open the square night. Oh. It's that little nine turn-up shape Go. that we've seen again between Bell and Peach and Owen. She just needs to hold that. She has a time again. I'm sure she does. 
and Robinson Shoot. was just there Move. to snatch it. And that's a wonderful carry from Murray as well. Go. Back come Leeds, good offload. I hope the Three. Rhinos can get over George soon. Let's go right now. Back here. Just to get some. Go. More story in this game. Winfield Hill. Oh, it was interesting when the Rhinos oh, were. Oh, it's a big error. Oh, it's a penalty. So we home beat. Wood and Owen all over it. Gives a penalty. Wins the side a penalty. But I was saying, George, at the start of the game. You just see that wonderful offload there from her as oh, well. Move! So we home beat. Oh. Go. Yeah, so they, yeah, they're all over it. I think it's Wood all over the ball. But at 10-0, when the Rhinos had that 10-0 lead, move. they said that the next right. score was going Go. to be important. In the blink of an eye, we're sat here now. The game's flipped on its head. York City Knights now. Move. You do feel that the next try for certain is the most important try Go. coming. Kira Bennett. York fans yelling for a forward pass. Oh, move! Touch judge, coming. referee oh, not oh. interested. Sorry. Go. Here come the Rhinos. Little spin away. Five and nice move. tackle oh, this. Oh. And Roach is out of the game. Painfully Go. slow play of the Go. ball. It's going to be Winfield Hill round the ankles. Go. Pressure from Andrade there. Into the in goal there. It's all about the bounce. Oh, oh so doesn't yeah. she do well to get out there? What a pickup. Yeah. What a pickup that right. was. Go. She kind of know where that ball was really. Oh, it's an error here. Tyra Stanley Jane. Beaver's making up for it earlier on. Could this be a turning point? Where'd you want it? What about this for a pickup there? Brilliant stuff, Still wasn't good. it? And then to have the presence of mind to get out of the field of play. Ashley Hyde. Which the error off the back of it. Well, she has got a mistake in her after all. As you know, you're out. Come on. Tara Edson. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big chance. Big, big chance. Great opportunity for the Rhinos to stem the flow of your points. And they knocked on on the first. Well, Lois Forsell should be Zero. furious with that. Move. That was a huge opportunity. Go. In fact, the only opportunity that Leeds have had this half, such as the carries from girls like Holly Dodd here. Well, just move. rolling forward okay, once more. Ten minutes, Leeds. Go. It's a totally different game, George, when you're playing on the back foot. And that's a brilliant carry from Akpa. Fine support. Now then. Move. Look where York have gone, move. defending their line and now attacking. Down the other end, Peach, working left to right. Three, They'll move. set something up, I'm well, sure, here, York. Back, hold! Peach Go. again takes control, coming back to this left-hand side. That's the play they like. There's Langan again, wrapped up this time. That's better defensively. Oh, yeah. Dealt and with that on that occasion. Hold. Go. Lacey Owen, Peach. She's been great today, Akpa. Really impressive. Last tackle, this. Will it be a kick into the in-goal area? Will they just drive towards the sticks? Was that played at? No, says referee Sam Houghton. So that will be the turnover. And we've got 20 to go. But look how far they've come in that set, George, from one end of the field to the other. And that's when you know a side is a top-quality side, and they can absorb pressure. That kick there from Peach. Three times that she's done that, not quite executed. The bat's something to work on for her. Try and oh, find some air move. between players. Nice and a bit of grass. But it's not a bad place to turn the ball over once again when the scoreboard's in your favour. But I was mentioning when you can absorb pressure and then get up to the other end of the field and transfer that pressure back onto your opposition, it shows you're a quality side. As Bennett gets away now, needs to be a better tackle. Move! Up and square there now. Hold. Wait for a foot. Go. Winfield Hill, oh, that's a difficult one to take. Round the shoulder. Four! Move! Here we are now. Hold. Wait for a foot. Go. Leads on halfway. Here he is. she is again. Oh, good pass back inside for Roach. Roach spins away. Leads keeping the oh. ball alive and throwing an intercept. Now then, can York get away? It's a foot race. Brilliant scrambling defence oh. from Goldthorpe. My word, you can't keep your eyes off this game at the moment. Oh, an error. 
And Leeds recover the ball. It's end to end at Headingley. What a break there from Don. Plucks the ball out of the air. It's Bennett's pass. It's far too wide, isn't it? Too close to the line. Don anticipates, but look at the work there from Frank Goldford, the lead fullback. And off the back of it as well, forces an error. Pulsating stuff. Girls, they've not been giving you all this when you've had injuries. Stoppage in play. A couple of injuries, one apiece. In fact, York have two players down. The teachers being assessed. There's also a player down in back players. We have another look at that break. She's been fantastic, Dodd, today, hasn't she? She's got through a lot of work in the back row. As Savannah Andrade as well. Mix it up today. Shows a quality in terms of being able to pass the ball, the little offload, and on that first try of the afternoon for York as well. Yeah. <laughs> Ten point lead for the league leaders. Yeah. York are twenty minutes or well, under twenty minutes now away from the league leader shield. Seventeen. No worries. Everyone's all right. And we're poised to continue. But the Rhinos need to find a second win here. Oh, they me blocking, so I've got it ready. Making Don't a change. Edging. Well, it was all the Rhinos, Edging. wasn't it, for the first 20 minutes of the game. But since then, Edging. this York side, Edging. for the next it's 40 of it, it's, it's completely in. controlled and dominated. Hey. It's up to the Rhinos to handle their wave of momentum. They will get a patch, George. They always do in games. Move. Momentum twos and throws all the time. It's what you're able to do with it and how long you're able to keep on top of it as well. You know, so many times you just get a sense that a team are getting back into the contest and they come oh, up with an error. Yeah. And they come up with an error. There's been too much of that from Leeds. There has, perhaps panic, perhaps playing the scoreboard. But there's more lessons to be learned. I mean, look, there's still 18 minutes left, of course. They're not saying that they're going to go on and lose this game, but if they did, I always feel that anywhere near a final or before finals football, if you get a loss in there, it's not the end of the world because you can learn an awful lot from your losses rather than your wins. There's another error there. And Beaver's first to react. Stand, that's zero. Scrappy period, both sides. Copping up the ball Move. too much and Leeds have it back. back. Can they find a score to make it interesting? Oh. Lacey Owen there just gets the ball dislodged from that right shoulder contact. Robinson on that Two. far side. Move! Up and square we are now. Hold 12 here. Hold. Go. Roach. Oh, oh what a monster shot that was. Stan! Daniel Anderson felt that. Go. Jazz Bell. Did not miss. But Leeds crack on. Go. They need to do Move. more of that. Isolate Go. people one on one out wide. Go. Quick play of the ball from Bennett. They're running it down this near side. There's nothing Bennett. there, George. Move. You should, you know, yeah, they've got to play with their eyes up a bit more. Move the ball now. Go. Everyone's all flat. Must be a kick coming, and there is. On the last tackle towards the post. She goes off the post. This could be anyone's. It's Goodbye. picked up. And it's turned it's over. over. It's all a McCalley in there. He was the first one to react off the post. Here we are now. On me. You can tell we have the advantage of being high. Up here high. They all flattened up, didn't they? They knew the kick was coming in. Play, Sinead. Play, please. And off the post as well. That would have been an important try. If they could have got that. I remember a certain try coming off the post that was important in my career. I bet you do. Two, move! Well, James Gray remembers that one quite fondly too. Yeah. The King was born that day, wasn't he? Jack yeah. Wellsby. <laughs> yeah. Three, move! That's it would be unfair Bernie, to say that has made his career. He's made his own career, but that was uh, that was the moment the world stood up to take notice. Now then, 15 minutes move. to define Go. who's going to take the league leader shield. Loose ball picked up eventually by Andrade Five and York will feel that one more score will Nothing's probably do it for them for one of Leeds got left Go. Stanley on the last change of direction 
Beavers is already there though. Well, takes it diving forward like a fielder on the boundary. Just for our oh, viewers at home. Up a square back here. If the Rhinos can get 10 points or so more and we'll go on and win this game. The St. Helens are 16 0 up already over at DW. Hey! Robin Park, sorry. Really? After 20 more minutes go gone. So actually a narrow leads one would <laughs> win would send it to Saints. The way it's going. Me, me. At the moment we don't need to worry about that because York City Knights ladies are on course for the League Leader Shield. Courtney Winfield Hill. Gold court to Beavers. Oh, me! Up and square on, mate. Go for a foot. Go. Can Leeds find something to make it interesting? That's gone behind Winfield Hill. Last, last tackle. Up and square on, mate. Winfield Go. Hill goes left. Okay. And then goes high. Into the sun as well. Difficult take and does so so well. Good oh, chase though. Has to hide. Perfect yeah. chase as well. Oh, Robinson and Beavers all over it. Oh. Go. Two. Move. That's the threat that oh, I'm talking about. Four. If you could put Tara Jade Stanley in those Go. corners, you know, that carry is, is pretty ordinary to deal with, isn't it? Three. Move. Up and square now. Line. Hold. This Rhino side, they really just need to force an error, get something, don't they? The time is running out for them. 13 or so oh, minutes left. Move! Up and square on, mate. For York, they don't have to do anything flashy here, George. Just roll forward, get to the end of the sets, put the ball in the corner. Good nice offload there from Bell. He's only got to get move. through eight or nine more sets with the ball in hand and the trophy's there. Last tackle. York have barely made it out. Stanley up the oh, outside set. of that left boot just goes down the line, finds touch. Yeah, good kick from her there. Ran out of land, didn't she? Would you want it, good kick pressure from Winfield Hill. Would you want it? Just means that she can't put that kick where do you want exactly it? where she wants it. Put it in. The Rhinos, they'll get the ball back 40 metres away from their own line. Be asking in the next five minutes or so for your uh, Betfred player of the match, Carl, as well. Might want to start thinking about that. Yeah. Oh, move! Up and square 12 minutes. Your oh. lead, 20 points to 10 with 12 to go. Live and exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. Oh, it's another error. I'm on. The lead to their own worst enemies at the moment. Yeah, this second half, they haven't been great at all, have they? York. Far too many errors. Can't really remember York City Knights defending their own goal line. Kerrigan under the pressure of Bell and Andrade. Just drops the ball. Yeah, they've not had to exert any energy whatsoever. If any of the try lines, the most difficult place to do so. The heart's racing faster. No more land behind you. As a result, it just really? grabs and soaks your energy up Go so on. much if you can reinforce repeat sets. We haven't seen any of them here today. And that's why coaches and fans value them so much. You just know Move. that it's robbing the energy out of your opposition. It's a strong carry from Holly May Dodd. Sinead Peach scampers away again. And York set up in front of the post, 20 away. Knowing one more score now would probably clinch it. It's with Peach. Right in front of the sticks. Still three. All the way through, millimetres short. Two on Penalty. Now you take the two, wouldn't you? You absolutely do. And the call has already gone. Two. For the two. kicking tee. Two. This will move York City Knights, ladies, 12 points clear with 10 minutes to go. Uh, 10. A wonderful offload, wasn't it? And Bennett can't help but just have a little pull on that. Yeah, takes it to a two score game now, doesn't it, for them? Providing they can get the conversions as well. Go take a bit, please. 10 10 at the break. Thank you. It's been a frustrating second half for the home side. <laughs> Haven't really got going. Ladies, the ball is in play. York have been able to stretch their lead. Two tries apiece from Tara Jane Stanley and Katie Langan. The rest of the points from the boot of Stanley, who has an opportunity here to add on another couple.
from right in front of the post to take her side 12 points clear and a step closer to the league leader's shield. No mistake, just dipped through. She's been pretty good with the boot this afternoon, hasn't she? Even though she's missed one or two conversions, well, it weren't by much, were they? Three oh, from six, but sure. a couple of tough ones from the touchline. Yeah. And it's a 22-10 York lead with a shade under nine minutes to go here at Headingley. And have Leeds got anything left? Okay, on side, make sure. No. I think it's just been a fantastic performance Nine. from York. Yes, they got off to a slow start. Credit Reynolds for starting. Oh, with... oh knock on. Offside. And offside. Offside from the knock on. Oh, so, penalty leads. Perhaps we're not done yet. Penalty. She looks a bit of pain as well over on that far side. I'm not sure what quite has happened there. Oh, is she winded from the ball? No. Oh. Oh, she's not in play. Pee so, doesn't it? It's been winded from the well, ball. Well, well, the referee well, should stop the ball, well, surely. He's it's out. It's a oh. Well, the is ringing the out. It's, it's the dock. Anyhow, it's play on, isn't it? Well, oh, York, York have got 12 in the line here. Move. With the 13th football. player receiving treatment on the 20 metre oh. line. And here come the Rhinos. They won't hang about. Can they exploit? The going for the corner. Oh, oh no. what a tackle that was. I think it's a penalty. It's a high but it's shot. an important tackle. I think the doctor's on the field over there. This game penalty should have been well stopped. Well, we're doing Georgia Taylor with the high hey. shot was a try saver. Hey. Well, we Leeds want to just get on with this. They're aware of the clock. It's kicking touch. Can we the York player time? is still down on the 20. Everything's what, happening what here. It's a penalty here. He kicked the touch. Well, the cover tackle there. Yes, it was a penalty, but it was an important tackle, wasn't it? On Hannah Butcher, I think it was. And there's cramp on this nurse. Everything's happening. It's been a high-quality game, it really has. But Leeds have got to go over now. Chloe Kerrigan gets... Uh, oh, has it been stolen? It's play on that. It's play on, it's gone back. Winfield Hill. Here we go with Goldthorpe. Beavers, can she get there? Step back in field. Still with Caitlin Beavers towards the line and he's short. Oh, held that ball, had to go, didn't it? Straight away, a catch and pass. And there's more and injuries. Another York player down. There's bodies everywhere at the moment, George. This is absolute madness. Live on the Sportsman. 22-10, six and a half to go. Yeah, when you were down there, the doctor came on the page. Head injuries, right, body injuries, cramp. Oh, what do you want to do? No, 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 and the referee finally just pauses the time. There's the high shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you like that. <laughs> well, no, I like the desperation into whatever it takes to I, stop your try scoring. Yes, I, of course. I think that's a professional foul. I think well, that's ten minutes. Well, maybe so, even still. But it denies the Rhinos an opportunity, doesn't it, to get back in the game. I don't think that she deliberately means to hit a high. It's just that that speed. You do whatever you can, don't you, to stop the try being scored. I don't think it has to be deliberate now, does it? No. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking if that's ten apiece in the last minute, that's uh, that's a naughty one, that. Anyway, referees let it flow. There's still an injury. We're going to have six and a, six and a bit... Leeds know they have to score here. We'll, we'll see through this play, and then we'll How take long? your your Betfred player Six. of the match, Carl Amor. Yeah. Well, there's been a number of fantastic players out there today, hasn't it? First against second, you can you can see and understand why. Well, she's all right. That's the good news, Ashley Hyde, and we're back underway. Leeds have to score here. Someone needs to change an angle here. It's all too lateral there, George. Yeah, it was too obvious. Yeah. Somebody oh! needed to drop under. Fred right. Goldthorpe Straight looks frustrated goal. at the moment. Kerrigan is held. Roach. Straightening up Move. back towards the post. Go. Kira Bennett. Will she go on her own? Roach perhaps. Got backwards. Then kicked backwards. That's one way of doing it. No, oh. Oh, she's in touch. Yeah. That never looked on, did it? Never looked on, and York survive. And an opportunity for Kyle Amor to name his no, best friend player of the match this afternoon. 20. Oh, look, it's a bit, it is quite a simple, a simple choice for me. It'll come as no surprise. It's the fullback for York City Knights, Tara Stanley Jane. Two tries to a name, those three conversions as well. 14 points out of the 22. 
here today helping York win the League Leaders' Shield. And crucially, it was two very important tries, wasn't it? It was the try that got them back in at 10 all before half time. And it was the first try of the second half, I think. Well, sorry, the second one. But two vital tries just to nudge the scoreboard away in that second half. Go. I think she's just been electric. I've mentioned a number of times. She's the best player in the competition this year that I've seen. And she continues to impress me ever more. She's our bet Fred player of the match. 14 point haul, two tries for Tara Jane oh, Stanley. Move! Back in to guide people. her side, oh. it seems. Go. To the league leader shield, live on the sportsman this afternoon. And they're not done yet. Here they come with Holly May Dodd. Strong oh, carry. Wonderful offload. Well, play is broken. There are gaps here if they get a quick play the ball. Six again, two The score. referee's got to wipe this clean. Go. He has. It's back to zero. York can finish this off. They've got six oh, tackles move. to play with here. Right side here. Hold. We're for a four. four minutes to go. They're just going to run at the post, York. Well, they don't need to score, do they? Move. Move. I certainly think they're going to move this ball to the right-hand oh. side now. It's Heatherington, and they're over the line. The referee's going to say hell up. I'm sure yeah. York were appealing and celebrating, but never looked like it was a score. I just like what they did there. The number of times that, that Peach has introduced Bell and that turn-up play has been on. On that occasion, she decides to take the carry. But what about the work here from Dodd? She's been so, so good this afternoon. <laughs> Push close for the player of the match for me. I mentioned about 10, 15 minutes ago the work that she's been doing. But Bell there goes route one. Nearly gets the ball down. Leeds have got a problem in back play. That's Georgia Roach, isn't it? He oh can't dear. afford to lose her, ready for the finals. She looks in some pain. Uh, five. That doesn't look good. It looks like right ankle right from up here. Yeah. Five, yeah. Well, let's hope she's OK, because there's no doubt that if the Rhinos are going to go on and do anything in the playoffs, she's going to have to be at large of it. The girl in the picture there, it's her day, isn't it? It's her season, in fact. She's been brilliant. I can't wait to see her pull on an England jersey at the end of the year. I really can't. And test herself against the quality that we're seeing from the NRLW as well over in Australia and New Zealand as well. That'll be the real acid test for it, as it will be a lot of these English girls. The growth of the game has been phenomenal so far. But putting it up against the Australians and New Zealands, well, that'll be the true marker of where this game is over here. And that's a sad sight to see, it really is. A huge concern for Lois Fassell said first half she was at the heartbeat of everything good about the Rhinos with ball in hand but she hasn't really been in this second half too much and that's largely down to because the forward pack have just dominated hers and like any good half back will tell you you can yeah. only play off a pack that's going forward well. and winning the run the yeah, yeah. it's a sad sight to see her leave George it really is yeah that's not what anyone here wanted to see Georgia Stand Roach being it. carried Stand off in back play okay. and York Fast. Will get us back underway. Can they find another try here to secure the league leader's shield? Well, the shape that they've got on both sides of the field here, if the ball finds it to the wingers, as 25 metres deep that they are, I make it. As Jazz Bell has got to play the ball two metres shy of that post. Well, nice to see everyone, including the referee, applauding Georgia Roach off the field. And here come York. Can they seal it with another one? There's Dodd again. Been brilliant today. Just dead. Really strong, isn't she? Over. Well, that's the last yeah. tackle. That was the last. Well, they just ran it. I think we all lost track of that, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> of concentration from all of us here. <laughs> so here come Leeds. Dying embers of this one. Let me point you as well towards the Whoa, Women's Rugby League show on the Sportsman. Right you can access that by the Sportsman special Rugby League channel. Leeds know they've been beaten here today by a very, very good York hey! City Knights ladies side. Yeah, really? 22 answered Two. points takes them doing away from home, but it shows what a side this York City Knights team are this year. Three. And does Move. this for me, That's me right now. Hey! it puts them in a great position to go on and make it to the grand final because they will play fourth and you'd imagine oh. that's going to be Move. Wigan regardless of the score years. over at the DW, oh. I think it is. Go. Here so it come Leeds. Now then. Half oh, break move. is the you know, time for a sting in the tail. Doesn't look like it. 
Winfield Hill, yeah, yeah. kick and chase. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Goldthorpe's through. I wondered about offside there, but Goldthorpe's still going towards the line. Round standing for a brilliant try. A kick and chip and chase on the last. Winfield Hill to Goldthorpe. Question mark over onside, offside. The referee let it go. And the lightning burst of pace around the play with the match, Stanley. And Leeds keeping it interesting with two to go. They sure do, don't they? But what about the weight of that kick there from Wingfield Hill? The width of the pass from Bennett's beautiful. And that kick over the top's even better. In fact, it's gorgeous. And Fran Goldthorpe, she's able to go around Hyde. Tyra Steer and Danley motoring down after trying to get it. And Goldthorpe scores what could be a huge try, but she's missed the conversion. Oh, that needed to go over, but it had to be quick as well. Yeah, they just give themselves too much to do, but what a piece of inventive play from Courtney Wingfield Hill. The execution of this was brilliant. The timing from Goldthorpe even better. And the finesse, the finishing ability of her. Two. But it's a positive Good note, isn't it, to finish the game, but... <laughs> You said it, George. There's too many errors in that second half. It's not really given them the chance off the back of that. I do believe as a forward that the Rook's been completely dominated and controlled by the York City girls. But it makes her an interesting semi-final playoff series, doesn't it? York will host Wigan. Saints will host Leeds. I can't wait to see that one. York taking their time to restart with a minute to go and just on that semi-final George we remember don't we the Challenge Cup final between Saints and Leeds Leeds dominating that day winning it for most of the game but just got it snatched away that was a, a repeat game, of that it was it? a fantastic game a repeat of that and a week of Sunday here as well I'm so if you're a fan of sure. either of those clubs I urge you to get here and watch them cheer your side on Keep growing this wonderful game we've got. Drilled low kick off down the middle into the last minute. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage live and exclusive on the Sportsman this afternoon. Oh, of the Bedford move. Women's it's Super League with York City Knights ladies oh. poised to clinch the league leader's shield. They'll actually lift the trophy next week, but here come Leeds. They're not done yet. Beavers with a burst of pace. Move. Can they find another score? Another chip through from Winfield Hill. She's going to have to chase it herself. They're all scurrying back, and Stanley just gleefully hacks it behind. They may not even get time for the dropout. She doesn't mess around, does she? Tara Jane Stanley knows that Courtney Winfield Hill's chasing hard behind her. She hacks the ball as hard as she could. So as soon as it touches the set, so time's off now. Reminder, immediate post-match reaction on the way on the sportsman. Our man, Paul Kidd. Waiting pitch side after we're done here to bring you exclusive immediate reaction the tea. It's a drop kick. from the key figures here. Oh, Final few seconds. Okay, on side. <coughs> Leeds might just about get time to instigate one last contact. Stanley with a sliced dropout. And here come the Rhinos with Hannah Butcher. But this again is oh, just, I can't move. stress that how much of a quality game this has been. Oh. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope everyone has as well. But it just oh. shows you, doesn't it? You know, eight points difference. The quality where this game's gone from a few years ago is really, really getting there. Two, move! Final seconds. York are going to win it. But Leeds are looking to at least finish with another full pointer. That's Beavers, who's been in the wars today. Courtney Winfield Hill, dabbing one towards the post. Goldthorpe's on a hat trick. Oh, what a take. No. What a take that was. Stands. Well. Climbs higher than anybody else. Go. Plucks it out the air. It was almost behind her, wasn't it? She was facing her own sticks. Two. Move. Look who's going there now. Ten metres. Back here. Hold. Go. And York, you have to just congratulate Three. Lindsay Anfield Move. and the group of players out right there, all of them, even the ones who are playing here today, the full Go. squad, to finish top against quality sides like Saints and like Leeds. And that's it. It's theirs. York City Knights, league leaders. Wonderful scenes, wonderful noise. Have a look at these pictures.
joyful celebrations for York City Knights ladies who have come here to Headingley and beaten Leeds and can celebrate for League Leader Shields. And look what it means to them, George. Every single one of them in there. Trainers, staff, medical, players, the whole club. The crowd are up off the seats applauding them. What a special moment for York City Knights. You are the league leaders in 2022. 80 minutes away from a grand final. Lindsay Anfield's done a superb job. A lot of credit has to go to her. The recruitment that they've been doing, the way they've been playing and improving every year has been nothing short of remarkable. Well, these are wonderful scenes. Lindsay Anfield poised to speak to us shortly on the Sportsman. A 22 points to 14 victory for York City Knights ladies. Two tries apiece for Tara Jane Stanley, the player of the match. And for Katie Langan as well. Let's have a look at some of the key moments, Kyle Amor, of what was uh, an ultimately ruthlessly efficient performance and victory from York. Yeah, it all started with that Katie Langan try, that shape that we see all too often, the turn-up plays between Peach and a number of others. It was Galen Peach that time that combined, and Katie Langan puts the ball down. Georgia Roach deemed to have professionally fouled her in doing so, and that gives the York City Knights a chance to get a an eight-point try, but they were unable to do the conversion from the sideline, and as a result, they ended up six points, but it was Katie Langan that set us off there, and that was pretty much straight away, four minutes inside of the half. You can see the celebrations, but it was once again, it wasn't too long before we'd have to mention the player of the match there, that, that little shimmy off her left foot, sits Beavers up and then gets around her with ease, but it's the ball movement before it. I think it was Lacey Owen. She has two runners taking a bit of heat, making defenders make decisions, and that's what the game's about making decisions at speed under fatigue. And the only decision that was made there was getting the ball into that girl's hands to score that try. Phenomenal footwork, wonderful player. But then this here was the try of the second half for me, just inventive stuff there, half and full back combined. She goes round Ashley Hyde and then manages just to win that foot race on that occasion. She's unable to convert. If she converted that, it would have made it a really interesting last couple of moments. But in the end, that's what it was down to. 22 points to 14. And like we've mentioned, Credit York, look at the scenes of them in front of their own fans as well. And the last try really was a quality try, wasn't it? But it was just too little too late for the Rhinos. And the day belongs to the York City Knights. And what will this do, Kyle Amor, for York City Knights, ladies? There was so much talk at the start of this season. Yes, we've got to go into the playoff final series now and into the grand final, but there was so much talk about Leeds and about St Helens, who are in action right now. And to see this York side come here, do what they've done and play as they have today, what will this do for them? Oh, it'll be huge. It'll be huge. I remember watching them last year uh, against, against the Rhinos in the semi-finals over at Saints and on that occasion they just got pipped didn't they and they had to learn lessons from that and they have done haven't they? they've come back they've recruited well I think they really have they brought in a number of quality players over from Castleford and have just able just to nudge the way ahead that you know that the big score line was I think it was 13 points to six over at York against Saints that give these girls that belief that set of confidence that was required to go on and and finish the rest of the season in that manner but I think they've been quality. I think there's been some really exceptional key performers week in, week out for them. Tara Jane Stanley, of course. You know, you look at Olivia Gale when she's been brought in. She's been great too. Sinead Peach, as always. Jasmine Bell. Holly Dodd, who have been so impressed with. Savannah Andrade. She continues to do what she's been doing all year. Well, Leeds are in a huddle. York continue their celebrations. We can hear from the player of the match, Tara Jane Stanley, is pitch side with Paul Kidd. 
OK, Tara, first of all, many, many congratulations. Firstly, first on today's game, Tara, many congratulations. You've just won yourself the player of the match. No, thank you very much. And uh, it's fabulous to be player of the match, but I wouldn't be stood here if it wasn't for the girls behind me. Like, the, the heart and, they put the heart and soul into this game. And, uh, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. To be honest, Tara, for, for any viewers that are watching at home and they're just tuning in now, they wouldn't believe that you've just won the League Leaders Shield. You're so calm, it's I've, unbelievable. I've, Tell I've, us a little bit about that. I've, I've not been sleeping for three days. I've been missing Lindsay at ridiculous hours of the morning because it, it just means so much to me and uh, it hasn't sunk in yet it really hasn't it, it, it's a dream for us it's a dream for us girls like this team what we've been through is absolutely phenomenal the team had the revamp 18 months ago and to do what they've done in that time is absolutely amazing you, you talk about the amazing feeling and what you've achieved but can you share with us sort of exactly what the secret of your success throughout the season has been so far um, it's what we've got underneath the emblem it's our heart single training session, every single gym session we put 110% in, the coaching staff are phenomenal, the hours of review that they put in uh, to make sure that every single run, every single play um, it, it's just, we, what goes on behind behind the scenes is, is incredible but it's, it's the girls, it's the forwards, our forwards are absolutely phenomenal um, yeah, it's just, it all comes together and uh, yeah, we got the win today, I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> Tyler Fowler, just before we let you go and, and, and celebrate along with the supporters, just a, a special mention for those supporters out there, they've made themselves heard, they've made the journey here, just what does it mean to those supporters that, and you to get that support here the, today? The 14th man on the field, they really are, like we look up, I come out at the start, getting me prep, I look up and I see those fans and genuinely they, they do something to me that, that, that no one else does, they're absolutely phenomenal, the support we have is, is insane and uh, yeah, I can't thank them enough. <laughs> uh, if you can possibly just get the attention of Lindsay out there, she's, she's just watching all the players celebrate. <laughs> Lindsay, first of all, many, many <coughs> congratulations on your achievement. You. Obviously, not just with today's game, but the season and picking up that league leader's shield. Yeah, it's absolutely, you know, it's fantastic. It's immense for the for the players, for the club, for the fans, um, and, and most importantly for the city to put the to put the club on the map there. And uh, yeah, I, I couldn't have asked for any more from from the players today. We've, we've done it tough for the for the past couple of months, but um, they really showed up today. So I'm really proud of them. Yeah. Again, not not just today, but looking at the season overall. But today in particular, the, the, the sort of resilience, patience, belief, desire, attitude, all those words that, that lots of coaches talk about before a game. You must be delighted with what's been on show, not just today, but throughout the season. Yeah, I am. And, you know, <clears throat> there's so many players there that have had to play in different positions. There's so many players that have had to play through injuries or play through things going on in the private lives. And uh, they've shown a heck of a amount of resilience today. And, uh, I'm, yeah, like I say, I'm just so proud of him. I'm just talking about the, the ladies' game as a whole. Obviously, early on when the game just started, obviously St. Helens dominated, then Leeds crept in, and now yourselves, York City Knights on the map. So that's three teams now that, that are sort of there or thereabouts. Is that a sign that the competition overall is developing and it's just going to grow and grow in the future? It is, you know, my, my view on it is, and I'm not quiet about it, is each club offers, offers the players something, offers them a provision, and the better provision that these clubs offer the players, the better players they're going to recruit. Warrington's doing a fantastic job at the moment in, in Women's Super League 2 and hopefully they'll come up next year and you know again compete with, with these top three teams and the more clubs that, that pay attention to the women's game they'll, they'll reap the rewards. And again, just quickly going back to yourselves, uh, you've beaten Leeds obviously twice this season now, you've already beaten St Helens. Does that put you in confident mood that you can go on from today and eventually hopefully get to the grand final and, and win it? That's That's got to be the aim, you know, a lot, a lot of people do the League Leaders Trophy down and I know I probably did it in, before the game, I, di I didn't give it enough credit, but this is for the best, the, the team that's been the best throughout the season, so it's a massive trophy, but, you know, rightly or wrongly, all the emphasis is put on the grand final, so we've got to, you know, get back to work on Wednesday and, and, and graph for that most, most definitely. Lindsay, thank you for joining us so quickly. We'll let you go and get on with the team thank and you. enjoy the celebrations. Good luck coming back in Wednesday and good luck next week in the semi. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Lindsay Anfield, the York City Knights ladies head coach and player of the match, Tara Jane Sandley. And, Wonderful pictures of, of Tara, Carly Warren and her family. Yeah, no. what this moment means. Yeah, look, it's fantastic. You know, and that you see there the respect between the two players as well. But all the players there over with the family and the, and the friends and, and just really enjoying the hard work that they've put in. And 
and they all get to share that, George. You know, you forget, don't you? Uh, you? You see players on screen and you see players live at games, but you forget that they are very much just normal people with normal families, and, and it means so, so much to them. You know, you'd imagine a lot of those, a lot of those girls' families have put a lot of time and effort into them, you know, taking them to training sessions, taking them, encouraging them, picking them up when they're down, everything that, you know, that every one of us deal with, well, they do it themselves, but they get judged on a patch of grass. So why can't they not enjoy and share that? And, you know, there'll be some party there tonight, I've no doubt about it. Uh, just a final words before we go on Leeds and how they regroup and how they respond now heading in to... Uh, to the final series and obviously a big question mark over the fitness of one of yeah. their star players yeah that's the key one isn't it really is Georgia Roach going to be fit and available in time for that semi-final they're going to need it and just a quality game really to look forward to them two there it's the pick of the round isn't it you know the pick of the semi-finals that that double header that's going to be here a week on Sunday but you mentioned it there how would you pick this side up oh, I think it's pretty easy to be honest I think you I think you just obviously get get back on the horse and get to go again. But the day belongs to these girls, doesn't it, York? Look what it means to them all. Great stuff to see. That's as far as we go. A brilliant exhibition of Betfred Women's Super League action here on the Sportsman. Two champion sides took to the field. But ultimately only one could win the League Leaders' Shield. And it's York's day. From all of us here, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.